Smell it? I just hit record, so now it's going. Oh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome to another episode of The Broken Script. Yeah. How fucked up is fucked up? <laughs> <laughs> we got ourselves a special guest. We got um, a guest. So uh, I'm Nick, and I'm here with my buddy Paul. And I'm me. <laughs> and me. <laughs> me. We're here with this loser we picked yeah. up on wow. the side of the road. We found him in like Atlantic City just <laughs> picking up breadcrumbs and looking for change. <laughs> I was in the corner crying. I see him I see him at a Burger King walkthrough. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Who's that guy? You got any spicy chicken? Please. <laughs> please, please. We're here with my uh my dad. And we're also Hi. live on Twitch. Wow. We're live on Twitch for the live. first time. First time. You little pimps. I gotta pull the chat up just in Making case. Making improvements around here. Yeah, we are. Uh, so we decided to set up because my dad was just about to tell us a very <laughs> oh, interesting oh, story. <laughs> telling us all kinds oh, of spicy oh, shit. shit. We're just like, you know what? Oh, Save it. Hold no. up. We got to oh, record. Geez. So we should probably uh, break these mics out and get it on video or get it on tape. Or it didn't exist. Or it didn't happen. Mm. never happened. We don't want it to exist. <laughs> <laughs> well... There we go. Okay, we're not good. editing that out. We right. don't want it to exist. We're good to go. I got the chat up. We're waiting on some questions. Mm. Why don't you go ahead and kick that story off, big dog? Let's hear well, it. I heard it. Paul hasn't yeah, heard it. I haven't yet. heard it. Well, you know these. You know these dating websites are just they're, they're just garbage. <laughs> don't you think, Paul? <laughs> Paul, yeah. So I can Paul, vouch. Can you vouch for me? <laughs> I can vouch for I you. I mean, <laughs> I hate to say this, but they're just garbage. You know, kind of not garbage, but they are garbage in certain ways. But, yeah, they serve a purpose sometimes. Yeah, not always. Yeah, they're just <laughs> they get you a gift card. Yeah, they get you gift cards. They get you free stuff, and sometimes you go home with things like bad things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then you have to go to the store and get like some itch cream or something like <laughs> get the gift. Seriously, so like, I, I, dude, I didn't ask for all that. I just wanted to. I just wanted to take you out for dinner. That's it. Dating websites. Oh, they're, like a they're just nasty. <laughs> Well, you one. never know what you're going to get. It's a recurring theme on this show, right? <laughs> just for oh, me. dating websites. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. Um, I always tell the guys at the prison, I'm not a prisoner, or I'm a not anymore. Not, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I got he recently prison. got out. I got I got out of the felony prison. I work for uh, corrections uh, with a company that's a uh, it's a maximum prison. So we got the bad boys, really bad boys. So I always tell the guys, I'm like, you know, I don't know why I tell them my life story, but sometimes we just get bored and we just discuss things <laughs> like, about your life. And I'm like, why did I, di- why did I just tell you that? And they're like, half of you're just weird. <laughs> you know, like, like random, just set. like, just like an old man in like here. Random, random, yeah, random I don't know if stuff. he works here or not, but he tells us stories all the time. Not the prisoners, the the officers. The officers. So yeah, no, they did over there. Like, like, random killer. stuff. So you want to hear something? <laughs> and they're like. Life stories. They always say Hatfield has some good life stories because I always do. And so Bumble, right? And Paul knows about Bumble. Everybody knows about Bumble. Bumble's just weird. Nope. It's Bumble. Kind of... Bumble's new to me. I well, so when I was dating, it was Tinder. <laughs> I didn't know about Bumble until Texas. Yeah, it's yeah. actually made by the same guy that made Tinder. He left Tinder, made Bumble, and then sold Bumble to Tinder. You know what? Yeah. I think what he created to keep all the creeps out because yeah. don't the girls have to make the first move? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they do. They message yeah. you first. Yeah. <laughs> and so they got like, 24 hours to do it. Otherwise, they or you they can extend forget them. about you. Well, you know, yeah. Yeah, it happens. Sometimes. Yeah. But they always, you know, the fun thing, funny thing is with these websites is they always get pictures of like 20 years ago. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't want you. I don't want when you were like high school, 109 yeah. pounds. Now you're like 300 pounds. Like really like, playing defensive yeah, nose tackle like, for the Chicago Bears. Right, like what is this all about? Like you know, you want recent pictures. I, you, I you never know. understood that because it's like you have to meet eventually, or at mm-hmm. least that's the goal. So what do you think is going to happen? Right, you're going to meet them. You're like, oh look at you. You're so sexy. Oh, <laughs> hello. Like, and I'm not, you know, I'm not saying like I'm all that, but come on, give me a break. Like, but like, <laughs> I'm worth at least yeah, the like, right, a little bit. Just give me a little, like, make sure you have all your teeth. Like, I don't have very big standards. <laughs> Just like, be honest, have all your teeth. I'm sure there wasn't a select few that weren't too happy to see you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Who the fuck is this hey. guy? <laughs> Where's the rest? Of I don't know what to say. He pulls up and they're like, "Where's the rest of your leg?" Yeah, I don't know what to say after that one. I think I might be done. I'm like, that was a hurtful thing. 
<laughs> well, but you turned out okay. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. oh, but you turned out okay. Hey, you remember all those kisses your mom used to give you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did raise my uh, three kids uh, by the same woman, so I'm all happy about that one. You can't but ask for anything. She did, a, she did a great job. I hate to say that. <laughs> <laughs> but she did. Yeah. I give her kudos on that. Lisa, you did a good job. If We're not you watch all fuck ups. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not all of you. <laughs> the the some fourth, of you. The fourth one was a yeah. huge fuck up. <laughs> it's like, wait, where's he at? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the, yeah, these bumbles. They have bumble. Bumblebees. <laughs> At least you call bumblebees. <laughs> it is, well, it's a hive. It is a beehive. It's a beehive. But anyways, you know, like, it just you think you're going to meet these people and, and everything's going to go, like, I don't know, like, straight. <laughs> And it never goes straight. Always, there's a bin somewhere in that That's road, right. <laughs> it, a real big bin. Sometimes I wouldn't call it a bin. I would call it more like a big ass uh, drop off. Yeah. <laughs> How the fuck did I get down here? It's like a Simpsons episode. You're driving. Yeah. It's like ah. Yeah. You're like, what just happened? I just, I don't know what happened. So I'm gonna tell you a little story about what happened to me. Um, this is of course quite a while, about, quite a while ago. So I met this girl. Um, she lived in Hawaii. Ooh, Ooh Hawaii. Right? right. She was a nurse, pretty good looking, you know. Of course mm-hmm. you you know, you, you, you get their number, you FaceTime, you do all the you know, your investigation. I had her fingerprinted. <laughs> like you do the I'm checks gonna, and balances. I'm a, yeah, I'm like I'm gonna run your I'm gonna run you through a little system. <laughs> Rob, what are you doing at the urinal? I'm getting <laughs> his fingerprints. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls up with a laptop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it down. So like we talk scan. Yeah. Scan. So her story was uh, she has a million dollar home. Oh and, shit! Yeah. Price. Like, but a million dollars, okay. But let me, let me, yeah, in Hawaii, oh. a million dollars is nothing. Oh it's yeah, like, I guess that's that like, is a that's three, a, It's like a three bedroom. Uh, to us, we're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But she was moving to uh, Las Vegas, where I'm from, and uh, she was going to build a house. Now, whoever's listened to this, this was a long time ago. <laughs> Emphasis. Yeah, let me just long time, a long time, long, <laughs> long time just ago. Clarify. Yeah, yeah, long time ago. Long. Only For the reason, record. The only reason I'm telling this, it's telling you guys week. this, is because I want people to understand that Bumble is not really that good. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away. Like, a, like it was across. probably uh, first time I used it years ago. It was a lot better than it is now. Mm. So take that for what you will. Right. So of course, okay, this girl's uh, this woman. She's not a girl, like little girl. She's a woman. <laughs> yeah, let's clarify that one too, so I don't go to jail or anything. Yeah, clear up that age gap real quick. Yeah, that that age gap was yeah. So she was uh, she's a nurse, and she was going to move to Vegas to build a house. And I'm like, okay, well, let's just talk for a while, get to know each other, and uh, see where it goes. Take and, it slow, right? Take it slow. A couple months went by. And she's like, I needed a vacation really bad. Like I work a hundred hours overtime, easy. Like, Holy shit. Easy like, at the prison. Like they, we have so much. And I'm like, hey, listen, how about if I book a trip? I've never been to Hawaii. Let me come out there and see you. She's like, absolutely. You can just stay in my house. I'm like, really? Of course, we've talked for a while. It's not somebody like a random mm-hmm. dude. Like, hey, come over and stay with me. <laughs> yeah, my like, I'm a serial my killer. Chuck. Yeah, <laughs> my nose pulls yeah, up right. his <laughs> testicle head. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like I got, got like I got this garbage bag. I put you in it. But no, you know, we kind of not knowing each other but we did know each other so so i so i booked a trip um it took me uh went from vegas to california to california to, to hawaii so i landed she you know and pulled up she pulled up really good looking girl mm-hmm. not bad i was like dang this is gonna go kind of sweet she's you know matches her picture has all her teeth that's, that's a good rare. Sign. That's yeah. rare. Good sign. i'm thinking teeth yes finally a girl with teeth <laughs> Like, the demographic of Walmart <laughs> in Indiana. Uh, <laughs> like, I, don't, I can vouch. Yeah, I, don't, I, I don't want to get off the subject a little bit, but teeth are very important. Somebody asked me how I keep my teeth, and I said, you brush. There's no secret, people. You brush and you floss. He's full of shit. They're fake. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, somebody asked me, Do you, you, my family, my, my, dad, my dad and my mom goes, do you put whitener on your teeth? No, I brush my teeth. Like, uh, it's some fucking secret on how to keep your teeth. Right, it's no secret. You just go to the dentist. We've been brushing our teeth for, what, 100 years? Mm-hmm. Maybe longer? 
Yeah, it's like, <laughs> since they invented fluoride. Well, the thing <laughs> is, is people always say, I got bad genes. No, you don't you brush. Hygiene. No, you got... Right, exactly. Yeah. No, you don't brush. Normally, yeah. that's no. why really fat people say, I got bad genes. Right. Yeah. That's, why that's why I'm 500 yeah. pounds. I got it, bad assembly, no, but my teeth are still good. Happy meals you just no, ate. It's, it's, yeah. it's because you just shoved down like four you know. ding-dongs down your throat. <laughs> you know, I could use the braces, but they're all there right. for the so, part. So back on track. So she pulls up. Nice car, Mercedes. I'm like, oh, nice. Oh, shit. Yeah, really nice, brand new car. I'm like, this is going to go really well. Mm-hmm. So I get in. I'm like, hey, how you doing? You know, we hug. We're on our way. We're just talking, chit-chatting. She's like, hey, we got to drive about 30 minutes. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to stay at your house, right? She's like, yeah, no problem. She's like, you'll stay in the basement because it's like a two-story. So we pull up. It's a really nice house. It has like two stories. It's For a million dollars, it's really nice. So I go in, and she's like, it's like 7 o'clock. She's like, hey, put your stuff down. Let's go to dinner. So, of course, like a gentleman, I pay for dinner. We eat some yeah. Mexican. I'm like, so we get back to her house, and she's like, I say, hey, do you want to hang out? It's only like 8 o'clock. And I'm like, hey, well, let's hang out. And she's like, well, I'm kind of tired. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to go to bed. I'm like, okay. She's like, your room's down there. I'm going to be uh, staying up or above. There's mm-hmm. another, like, a loft. She's like, I'm gonna go to bed and uh, you can chill out down there and you know help yourself to the fridge or whatever. I'm like, cool. So like the next day we get up, we we're hanging out. We go like to the beach, like we go where they surf these hundred foot waves. Holy shit! shit. And that's, that's bad. That's badass. Like, watch that. Like, I bet these, that is. And there's not just guys. There's like good looking women that do these like surf contests. Oh, so fuck. we like we we went to the military base that we went by it. It was kind of neat because like Pearl like, Harbor or something. Uh, I got a couple of them out there. No, nah, it wasn't Pearl Harbor. It was another military base. I can't remember which one it was. Do you remember what island? You it was were like on? you know where yeah, like you know where like sense. Dole D O L E. You know the Dole, um, uh, the drink Dole. Mm-mm. It's it's like pineapple. Well, I know what that's, you're talking about. Th- th- that's where the uh, plan is. Oh, so like yeah, we were just driving around, having a good time, and you know I I took her to lunch again, and we had some more lunch and. And so we, things were going really well. Life is good at this. Yeah, thing. yeah it sounds like a I'm, pretty, gonna, I'm starting to fail to see yeah, what like, you're fucking complaining well, about. Yeah. That sounds well, pretty good oh, so get, far. Oh, oh, it gets better. Well, you gotta, oh, it gets better. I mean, up to this point, for taking a risk to go to Hawaii, yeah, yeah. it's not as yeah. bad as it seems. But it sounds oh, like it's about the oh oh oh, oh it takes a <laughs> oh it takes a dive like every so, one of them. Like we go hiking, so we we uh, went to um, this called Diamond Mountain to hike up this like mountain. It's like a volcano. Oh, it's called Diamond Mountain. I mean, it's like way up in the mountains. So we did that. We had a really good time again. We're having a very great time. So we we decided, hey, let's uh, let's go, you know, let's go swimming and go go eat. So we ate this one place, and I pulled out one of my credit cards, and it got denied. Oh shit! Oh, she's like, she looked at me, and I'm like, what? She's like, do you have money problems? <laughs> oh. I mean, to be fair, I, go, I would, I would ask I go, the same thing. She goes. I go, why would you ask me something like that? I'm like, no, I don't got money problems. I'm like, I make $6,000 a month. Why do you think I have money problems? <laughs> well, I know, like, my I'm mind. like, no, <laughs> I don't have money problems. She's oh, like, shit. I'm not being rude, but your credit card denied. I'm like, because I'm out of the country. I'm like, I'm in Hawaii. Yeah. I'm like, I'm in a different, you know, state. That, that happened to me driving from Fort Worth back to Indiana after C school. I tried to get gas in like Arkansas, yeah, and it declined. And yeah, I had to get on my app and it, change it to travel mode. Exactly. Fucker. Yeah, it's because they think it's compromised, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And I told her that. So I I whip out another credit card. I pay, you know. And she's still like on this whole thing. Like, do you have problems with money? <laughs> like, she's in your ear. <laughs> yeah. Like we're driving. She's like, Are you sure you don't have money problems? I'm like, Listen, lady. I'm like, <laughs> and then I call her lady. I'm like, Listen, lady. Listen, Linda. Listen here, woman. <laughs> <laughs> listen up. Listen up, Linda. I don't have money problems. Her name's not Linda, but. Uh, it is her day. Exactly. <laughs> like, listen up, Linda. Call her a totally like, different I ain't on no fucking million yeah. dollar matchmaker. Yeah, I'm no like, shit. But I'm I like, do all right. I'm like, I bought this ticket to come see you. No, I don't have money problems. And I said, exactly. hey, okay. And so we got off that subject. I'm like, hey, listen, can we go get a haircut? I needed a haircut. And she's like, mm-hmm. well, I know this, you know, this guy. He cuts hair. I'm like, cool. Because uh, guys cut pretty good hair. I'm like, cool. So we go to him and I take out uh, $30, you know. I'm thinking, well, 30 bucks should cover my haircut, my tip, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, he gets done. I give him the 30 bucks. We leave. She goes, boy, you're a cheapskate. <laughs> what? She, yeah, I was like, what did you say? She's like, you're a cheapskate. I'm like, why? You just guy gave the guy a $10 tip. And I'm like, okay, well, how much was the dang haircut? Like, 
Oh, twenty dollars, right? Okay, that's what, half the day. Yeah, like that's fifty percent. Yeah, yeah. She's like, you're a cheapskate. You should have gave at least forty. And what I'm the like, fuck? yeah, I'm twenty dollar like, haircut, yeah. a forty like, dollar tip, right? And she then doesn't not, realize you're a man, right? Right. right like right. men like, haircuts are not that expensive. Yeah, it should be like fifteen dollars. So I'm like, okay, and I'm like, do you want me to go get money out of the ATM and go give it to him? Like, I will. It's no big deal if you think that. No, I just I gotta look him in the face and think that you're a cheapskate and you're visiting me, so it God. looks bad on me. So this I'm like, lady's oh, got some yeah. reality issues going on. Here. Jesus Christ. So I'm like, all right, lady, you've got some problems upstairs, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're already tripping. So we're driving around. She's like, so what do you want to do? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? What do I want to do? She's like, you want to go scuba diving? Because I like to scuba dive. And she's like, I'm like, what? And I'm like, well, you tell me. I'm not from around here. You, you yeah, pick what's the cool thing to yeah, do? Yeah, let's go. Let's Non-tourist go, let's go shit. Ha- too. Yeah, let's go hang out. She's like, I don't know. She's like, I'm kind of tired. And I'm like, okay, well, let's just wrap it up tonight. Let's go back to your place, watch a movie, and chill out. And she's like, no, I don't want to watch a movie. She's like, I just want to go back and crash. It's like, again, Jeez. it's like 7 o'clock. So we go back to her house, right? And she's like, oh, have a good night. And I go, well, it's only 7 o'clock. She, she goes, well, I'm going to go up and talk to my daughter upstairs, and um, you're free to go out if you want. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Put on your brakes here. I'm like, you want me, yeah, I can leave your house and, like, use an Uber and go, like, I can just go wandering. Playing around? Like, I'm not here to go play around with other people. I'm here to see you. She's like, no, but I don't want you upstairs. I'm like, okay, this. she's really whack now. Yeah, she's starting to get What's yeah, upstairs? Weird. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, did, What's did, in the did, box? What, <laughs> what, did you just kill somebody? And I'm like, yeah, I'm she's just, got I, some, she got I, another, I I another, another dude from <laughs> Bubbles up there <laughs> strapped up. <laughs> right? <laughs> Run away! She's just waiting on him to die in your neck. So I'm just thinking, what is what is going on? Like, <laughs> what is the special what? guest? Right. Yeah, Hello. we got another special guest. Hello. Hmm. So... <laughs> So I said, okay, well, have a good night. And I go down, and I'm just, I'm back on Bumble. <laughs> oh, downstairs? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, I'm back on Bumble. Was this back in the day when you could actually swipe and yeah. not have to pay? Yeah, you only get, like, 50 swipes. And then, and the, uh, yeah, and then they're like, into the B line <laughs> today. Yeah. Then it has to be, like, <laughs> has to pick up more people. So I'm like, I'm out there just, like, swiping again. Because I got bored. Well. I would have. Then I got back. And then I got on Tinder. I'm like, okay, let me hit all the dating apps. You might as well get the I'm, whole oh, gambit. Oh, yeah. Like, I was <laughs> He's on so Farmers old. Only. Yeah. <laughs> Blackpeoplemeet.com, Farmers Only. I, I, I was like on every. POL. Oh, yeah. Tinder. Not that Jewish one. I was like. And <laughs> Ashley Madison. <Yeah. laughs> Theprisoner.com. I was oh, all. <laughs> He's emailing people I, back I, at this prison. I was like. Yeah, I was like, man, this is really whacked. And I'm just trying to wrap my rant, my brain around what's going on with her, right? Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, and she doesn't have a TV downstairs. So I'm like, oh, boy, I'm sitting here They're in always, a room by it. myself. No TV? No TV. So I'm, so I'm then there going, dude, I should just go out. But I'm like, no, I'll be good, and I'll just try to be respectful. Yeah. I don't want to go out and then have to be like, hear her hear me go out and then come back at 3 in the morning drunk with, like, Cup of broads or something. Like that. <laughs> like, how you doing? Hope you don't mind. <laughs> so this, so it gets, it's so it's a great Airbnb. So the story gets really better, really, really better. It, now we're gonna start really amping things up. So the next okay. day we, we I'm starting to think you got fucked in the ass. This is yeah, day yeah. three. <laughs> if I got that, that would be like the bomb because that would have been like, because at this point I haven't got. I haven't got anything. I didn't even got a hug. Oh, she wouldn't even give you a reach around them. No, no, just mm-hmm. give me something. Not at all. She's like oh, non-existent on ends of that. <laughs> okay. So we, we day three. Oh, yeah, day three. All right. So it's like the, basically the day before I have to leave, right? And we go down to Wank- Wankiki or whatever. Wankiki. Wankiki. Is that the one? Oh, Wankiki. <laughs> there ain't no Wankiki, Wankiki going on down there. there. Yeah. No. I'd say wanky because that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so like I'm, we're downtown. We're, we're we're partying. I mean, we're partying. We're jumping like pool to pool. Holy and and shit. Uh, the hotels down there are like have these um, these uh, pools that come up to the ocean and drop off. They call them visual pools. Oh yeah, I know. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they're like drop offs mm-hmm. and like kind of romantic. But oh. we, I was messed up, man. We were going like pool to pool to pool to pool to pool, <laughs> drinking, drinking. I mean. And I was buying, man. I was we were drinking, and she was keeping oh, up. And I was those like, probably man. weren't cheap either. No, they're like five dollars a pop, right? That's not bad. Actually, it's cheaper than I thought. Yeah, I don't know, but we were getting getting our crunk on. 
<laughs> they were drinking and, yeah. and I'm thinking, look at all these hot women that oh, are like, you're just, you know, these are Hawaii women. These are not like the average Illinois fat. <laughs> yeah, these are not <laughs> like the Midwest <laughs> steer. <laughs> corn fed beast. Yeah, not a Midwest steer. In these the were like women oh, with three percent body fat, and like, yeah. and they were like gorgeous. So I'm like, Ooh, by the I, dozens. Now my head's kind of like turning left to right, left to right, and but I'm still being respectful to mm-hmm. her and like trying to like. You wait for her to not look. Yeah. yeah. I try to get close to her, and she's kind of like, hey, you're, you know, basically I'm a creeper. He's like, what do you expect? I'm <laughs> shit bricked, right? You just invited me out to your house yeah. on an I, island. I, I'm a creeper. What the fuck do you think I'm going to do? Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. So we get to this uh, place called Duke uh, Restaurant, right? It's like a mm-hmm. club type. It's called Duke. And uh, they had a little band, and I was so messed up. She's like, hey, let's dance. I go, I said, Linda. I call her Linda again, even her name's not Linda. <laughs> and she's like, why do you keep calling me Linda? I'm like, because that's your name now. <laughs> Listen, Linda. <laughs> because I'm upset, and I'm like, that's your name. She's like, well, don't call me that anymore. I'm like, okay, whatever. All right, Linda. Linda. Okay, Karen. <laughs> okay, Karen. So, anyways. Change to Lindsay. Yeah. So, she's. I said, listen, I don't want to dance. I'm like, I am so wasted. I am so drunk. Like, you know, I, fall over. <laughs> I'm like, bumping I look like a, a look goofball if I dance. And she's like. She gets literally pissed off. I mean, pissed. She walks away, like, up the stairs. I thought she was just going to the bathroom. She's just mad, right? Mm-hmm. This guy goes, oh, you're in trouble. I'm like, yeah, but I guess so. She, I'm like, I guess she just went upstairs to go to the bathroom because she was mad. Oh, Well, I sit there, and I grab another drink. 30 minutes went by. No Linda. 40, win- 40 <laughs> minutes went by. <laughs> no, no Linda. Linda. Oh, no. 50 min- minutes went She's not around. Mm-hmm. Uh oh! I said, "Where'd she go? She Did dipped, she get hurt? Did she dipping. fall down?" Well, check it out. I'm gonna get to that. Take it easy, dog. I'm trying to get to the <laughs> D. <laughs> chill, yeah, chill. chill. Did you fucking left yeah. your ass. What? What, what you go? God, stomp her out right now. God, you're pretty smart there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a pretty good. Yeah, science. duh. Uh, so, anyways, <laughs> I'm 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 walking around half crocked and trying to figure out where she went and. Asking around if she's seen this woman, and everybody's like, I don't know. I don't know who she is or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm thinking, oh, my God, she left. There's no way. So I check this out. So I grab my phone, right? My phone's almost dead. Oh, it's always. I said, it always happens to me. When, my phone's always dead. Everybody can vouch for me on that one. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so I'm like, oh, my God. So I call her. Guess what happened? F you button. Exactly. Yes. She's like blocks me. So oh, shit. yeah, I'm oh. like, no, th- this can't be real. This, there's no way this can't be real. So I get on the, like Messenger. Guess what happened? Blocked. Bam. Holy Block. shit. I'm like, what does happen? I'm like, I don't even know where she lives. We're an hour away from where she lives. Don't know her barely her last name. What am I gonna do? I did not know what to do. So first thing I did is I went to go to this little Chinese shop on the corner. cost me $50 for a charger. Holy Literally shit. $50 by for an Android charger. Jesus Christ. That's, I mean. Might as well just buy another phone. For, yeah, exactly. Like, oh, shit. Like for a thing of milk in Hawaii is like 10 bucks. I mean, Jesus literally Christ. so expensive. So so I bought the, I bought the charger and uh, needed to sober mm. up a little bit. And I plugged it in so I can, you know, at least try to figure out what's going on. Get on Bumble. Blocked. <laughs> Oh my god! She hit every market. Oh yeah, she hit every market that I could contact her. So I'm like, oh my god, she has my keys, my clothes, my plane, t- <laughs> my you know, itinerary to go home, everything. Mm-hmm. What am I gonna do? So about an hour went by. I decided to go to Honolulu PD. I walk in. I tell them my story. They start laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> this mother effing, yeah. he's a retard, you know, basically. Yeah. These motherfuckers yeah. from the mainland are dumb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This guy's an idiot. Comes out here for a woman he doesn't even know. Yeah. What a goof. Gets yeah. Yeah. Gets what a laugh. goof. What a goofball. Right. So he, he, so this, I was telling this to the female. I thought maybe I'd have like a soft heart and she's like, you're a retard, you know, basically. <laughs> so this dude comes out, the sergeant's like, hey, come here. Come out to my car real quick. So he plugs her num- her name in the system, and it pops up, pops up where she works and everything, her phone number, everything, and where she lives. He's like, you know, I could get fired for doing this because I'm giving you could be a serial killer, <laughs> and I'm giving like all the information of her whole life. 
And he goes, oh, yeah, she works at this hospital over here. Like, tells when I guess they can have, like, your employment on a system, I guess. I don't know. But he pop, popped it all up. Everything. Yeah. So I was like, hey, dude, can you just give me a ride over here and drop me off? He's like, no. So I'm like, well, how am I going to get there? He's like, I guess, you you know, you can Uber or whatever. Oh, God, that sounds so it's like Yeah, real expensive. So it's like 1 in the morning. I'm thinking, there's no way am I going to get an Uber this this late. So I decided to get a hotel, but I don't know where to go. He goes, well, stay away from the, re- you know, it's called the Red Light, red light District. <laughs> I've heard of, <laughs> heard of these places. Yeah. Uh, well, it's like prostitution. And like, but he told you to stay away from that? Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Amsterdam. It's called, like that. Oh, yeah. Amsterdam. Amsterdam. It's, like red, it's called the Red Light District. It's like a whole district that's full of like pimps and, you know, basically. That's where the broken script lives. Oh, man. In the red light district. <laughs> they found us. So, like, I went to this hotel, then down from there, and got a hotel, and it was like $280 for a night. And it was, like, basically a little slum hole in the wall oh, for $280. That sucks. So, I went to bed, got up the next morning with a hangover, and I'm like, well, I better get an Uber, because... At that point, I'm thinking, well, my plane doesn't leave until 9 o'clock at night. So I have plenty of time to mess around, get some food in me, get an Uber, get it to her house, hopefully, and figure this out. So it was like 3 o'clock. I decided to uh, get an Uber. I got an Uber. It was $120. Holy shit. That sounds about so almost like I'm, my Saturday. Now, now I'm Setting now I'm, something up there. This, this for the hotel that I'm almost like $600 at that point, just on that. So I'm like, oh my god, really? Jeez, Jeez this is gonna be painful. I'm gonna have to do a hundred hundred dollars more overtime when I get back. Yeah, for sure. But so, you gotta get back. <laughs> yeah. So the story gets really good. So like, I I Uber to her house, right? And in Hawaii, it rains all the time, all I the time. Imagine. I mean, it rains, stops, rain stops. Mm. So I get to her, and there's a bag of clothes on her driveway. Guess who's clothes? Yours. <laughs> and a bag full of water with my keys. Holy shit. Yeah. So she opens up. That's the, some trifling shit. Yeah. So she's up on the second like part of her house. Oh and she's like, God, this guess is... what she tells me? Get the, f- get the fuck off my lawn. She's like, <laughs> we're, we're done. And I said, oh, really? You think? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't figure that out. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired of you I, anyway. And, and I said, can you at least take me to the airport? You know what she said? Nope. Nope. Go F yourself. <laughs> uh, did she soak your plane ticket too? Totally. Oh, Everything. My she God. she goes, good luck. The airport's an hour away. I said, How do, where do I go? She goes, you'll figure it out. Oh, <laughs> my God. I'm in Hawaii on an island. I have no idea. Like, and there's like chickens on the side of the road type thing, you know? <laughs> like, you know? It's like Key West. So, so I'm like, I'm walking. The mosquitoes are super bad in Hawaii too. So I'm just tearing you up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tearing me up. And these little chickens are chasing me all roosters are up and down the road ch- you know chasing you around you know so i i get up to this bus stop and i had this uh homeless person i'm like hey dude if i give you five bucks and you tell me how to get to the airport he goes oh yeah real easy he's like this bus right here costs you like three dollars to go to the airport you take three different <laughs> buses and i'm like cool he's like just tell the bus driver where you want to go and he'll you know he'll explain to you so i bought the bought a little uh ticket and uh, yeah, I switch pl- switch buses three times to get to the airport. I get to the airport. I'm like six o'clock at night. My plane doesn't leave until almost ten o'clock. I decide I'm gonna have a couple of drinks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, yeah. I so, mean, after that experience, yeah, yeah, I feel like I, I need them. I need like a whole case at that point. So of course, I'm telling the story to this female that was next to me. And she's like, "You poor guy. I feel so sorry for you." She's like, "I've never had that happen." I'm like, "Well, now you hear a story that happened to." So Bumble sucks. So guess what? Yeah. There you go. So it gets better again. So mm-hmm. I get on the plane. I go to LAX. LAX is huge. Yeah, so I get I, all. I imagine it's huge. Yeah, it's so big. The airport in LA, LA is so big. So I get there and uh, get on my phone and I see uh, there's a fire at the terminal at Las Vegas. <laughs> oh, <laughs> airport. <shit. laughs> oh my god. So, uh, guess where the ter- guess where my truck was. <laughs> That terminal? Yeah, exactly. Holy on, shit. on the exact floor that my truck was at. My brand new truck. What if she, she like, flew out before you? And, <laughs> and burned it down. <laughs> like, burned it down. I'm thinking, this cannot happen, man. My truck's Holy burned shit. down, so I'm like... This is not happening so to me. I'm reading the story. It just broke out. Like, this, the whole fire mm-hmm. just broke out a little bit ago. I'm reading this whole story, and so they have a number. Like, you can call and say, 
you know, my plates are this. Can you tell me if my car's yeah, gone? My shit burnt <laughs> yeah, burnt down. God was on my side. <laughs> I feel like there's someone in the sky playing with your luck They're line. Like, <laughs> just like, huh, bad luck? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> bad luck? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah. So like, and it's like the, the the guy controlling. It's like it's his kid. He's like, get the fuck away from there. He ain't got his friend. He's like, hey, watch this. Yeah. The emergency button. <laughs> he's like, uh, gonna save gotcha. His, uh, <laughs> we're gonna save his truck. <laughs> Actually, he did. He's like, and he's like, uh, they're like, yeah, it happened on the opposite side of the where your truck is. Mm-hmm. He's like, you're so lucky because all the cars yeah. got burned up on that floor except mine. We wouldn't have got that lucky. <laughs> No, no. So I get there, you know, and it cost me like two hundred dollars in parking. Oh, like, I parked. Christ. I didn't know that the parking that I parked at was like really, really expensive. And I was like, "Are you kidding me?" No. I mean, now shit. I'm like almost a thousand dollars in the hole. I'm like, I'm like, um, I guess I'll be doing like a thousand hours a week now yeah. for <laughs> the make up this. I'm so, gonna do twenty hour shifts the whole week. Hope so, you guys don't mind. So every time I tell this story, I'm like, stay away from Bumble. <laughs> That's. Yeah. yeah, that's all it takes I is mean, one bad experience. Oh, with anything. That's all it takes. I was just like, um, oh, my goodness. But it was kind of funny. Right after that, I seen her on, like, Tinder. I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> yeah, I, I really wish I could have responded to her, like, really? Like, I just couldn't believe somebody would do that to another person. Like, do You're probably that, not the only know? one that's happened to. I know, right? <laughs> she probably there's... has, like, five other dudes. It just can't be a one-hit wonder where she just did that once. No, oh, fuck no. You know what I mean? You I shouldn't I, have been the first. I wish I could remember her name, but... Uh, you put her on blast. I wouldn't know yeah. what's upstairs. Uh, uh, totally. What's uh, on the uh, second floor? Totally. Like, yeah. I was actually just thinking that. I wonder what she... Like, I should have walked up there. there. You should have walked up. And, like, you should have like, walked up. Like, whatever, girl. Get out of Linda. You would have seen some weird shit. <laughs> you never know what, shit. what kind of shit's going on. I mean, that, Hawaii is beautiful, though. It's, oh, yeah. But it's so expensive. You should have just went by yourself. I should have. I should have like not. I could have just had fun. Yeah. Fuck. Would have been way better. It was actually really cheap for airfare. It was like... Four hundred dollars. That's extremely cheap. Yeah. So that's a little... that's before COVID, though. You know, I'm sure it's uh, more expensive now. But you know, it's crazy now. I think about it. my first experience in Hawaii was really bad too. Well, it wasn't bad, but I was on my way to uh, uh, Australia for a detachment, and we were there for one night. And uh, we decided to go explore the island. It's a really short story. We decided to go explore the island because I'd never been to Hawaii, and I was like, we were in Waikiki. Like, this is beautiful. We were walking down the street looking for a place to. Uh, place to eat and there was this this naked homeless lady on the side of the road and she turns and looks at me and my friend and she goes hi like, what you the like fuck hi. they're like hey hi, bi- hi big daddy yeah we said hey and we kept walking trying to get then... some rotten cotton <laughs> oh dude rotten she was cracked out of her mind and Ugh. no teeth either like she was in that demographic well, she had left you on the side of the road <laughs> oh brother. Man, probably there's, not. A, there's a big drug problem in hawaii yeah i Math. can imagine yeah. I can imagine, I'm but sure. yeah, she was definitely a meth head. And we just, we like kept walking and we heard like this loud hiss. We heard, <laughs> and we turn around and this bitch is booking at, at us. Dang. Like she is and sprinting. She's hissing. <laughs> yeah. She, she wants to eat. Yeah. She's like, come here. Let me talk to yeah, you. Yeah, like, like, uh, butt ass naked. You like, end up like that fella in Miami. What, yeah. What's crazy is like, no one is like responding. Like everyone is walking like this is a normal action or interaction like this, this is, is something every that day in this island every day probably does dude me and my buddy we took off running and took the <laughs> first door like that we saw and had some like semi-decent food and we're just like let's go back to the hotel fuck this, this is dumb. no shit yeah, wow yeah. i mean Hawaii. you didn't even make it like a we didn't even far. make it down the street yeah and you're Damn. Really getting bombarded by crackheads oh and ubers yeah they're fucking expensive we really Uber expensive. Downside. Really it was like 60 dollars to go like yeah. 20 miles it wasn't even that Fuck. far yeah. when i was looking them up saturday they were like 150 for where i was a barely like 150 um, yeah i got abandoned <laughs> i mean to be fair you can't like blame it right now just because with gas no so not high. at all but i like, mean it, yeah for sure but these motherfuckers are breaking even with yeah. how high gas is I, I mean that's a with gas and then like all the other factors with that job i just couldn't do it mm. yeah. i just no. it's not worth it not the weirdos you pick up yeah, you're picking up people <laughs> like me. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, what's this guy doing? Dude, you know, I actually drove for Lyft when I was in Texas for a nice. little bit. Dude, I picked up some weird yeah, cats. I'm I picked sure. up some weirdos. I picked up this one dude, 
And he hops in my car and he seems like totally normal. He's just like, what's going on, man? And I was just like, you know, nothing much. Just driving, trying to make some extra money. And uh, I told him that I was like, I was in the military and that wasn't like my job. I was just doing it for some extra money. Got to pay the bills, right? right? We're like halfway to his destination. This motherfucker breaks out a blunt. And oh. smokes it up and starts smoking. Yeah. And I'm like, I didn't even like realize what was happening. Like, I didn't hear the lighter or anything. And I just see my car start high. to cloud up. I was, what the you fuck? Know, that smell hit Why you. am I high? Yeah, I pulled over and I was like, get the fuck out of my car. Like, what the fuck? And he's like, I thought it was cool. Like, bro, it's illegal in yeah, Texas. Dumbass. No, it's not cool. Yeah. Yeah, right, especially in Texas. After that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, trying to get you caught up on some <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're going to jail. You're like, it wasn't me. Yeah, yeah, it was. was. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. you're. Yeah, they're gonna be like, you let it happen. You're in the. It's your car. You're. You're possessed. There would be yeah, some yeah, way yeah. for it to yeah. be turned back onto me. Oh, I already know it. Yep. Yeah. But then the military be like, Ooh, look at this guy. Look what he's doing on his side. That's so fucking dumb. Yeah. I feel like if if that happens to you, like, and it's not your fault, there's got to be something. There's got to be something you can do. Oh, like yeah. You know, what if what if you're walking down the street and someone just blows a huge puff in your face, and you end up popping on a test? Like, there's no action. I, oh, dude. So, I like, think, yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say uh, when I got picked up Saturday, well, technically Sunday morning, when I got back on that Amtrak, when I got in the person's car that was taking me home, that's all it smelled like. Like it was like really? the smell of stunk, like skunk. You know, weed was just fucking like soaked in their seats. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, and I'll, like I'm not around that shit. Obviously, like yeah. not anymore. So I was like, it hit me. I was like, oh fuck! Oh. Just get me home. Twenty minutes down the road, please. Right, right. Just Holy get me shit. home. See, I, I, don't I, I think if someone blew it in your face, it, uh, your body would metabolize it quickly. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not. Okay, just, I got another you example know. for you. You'll say you make a good friend, and you you like. This is like a part, a part of uh, a part of him that you don't know about. And you're at his house. You guys are chilling. He's got some cookies sitting mm, on the counter. Oh, yummy. You know, your oh, fat ass is going to be like, oh, yeah. I got to give me one of them cookies. Eat a couple of those brownies. Yeah, oh, I want some of that. Eat a couple of them. Next thing you know, you're fucking in the Ooh. lawn, feeling the grass. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. 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 What fuzzy wall. <laughs> Get that Jeffrey. Like Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey going. Uh, uh, then I guess, what? I guess you're, you're messed. <laughs> I guess you're messed. It's guess crazy you're that, that throughout that point, even if it's not your fault, you're still fucked. It don't matter. Yeah. Fuck? Right, what, if, what if someone like you're out, right? Check this out. So what if you're out and someone like roofies you, right? And then you got a drug test like the next day. It was like, Dude, that, someone, that's you know one's like 24 I hours would, though, I, isn't it? I mean, if, yeah, I mean, it gets stay in your system. If you get roofied, let's say it's, uh, then what, I don't know, let's get say it's Molly or something. You know, you get roofied or then, ecstasy or something. That's going to stay in your system more than 24 hours. I what mean, if, what if you get roofied and hit with something else? Yeah, right. Like, I mean, I would explain to the people that I'm I'm drug testing. Like, listen, this is what happened. Damn, you know? chill. I mean, this is what this High is production what, podcast over this, here. This is what's going on. You know, mm-hmm. I just got I just got roofied. I mean, I would totally Fuck. plead my case. Like, I wouldn't let that down. I remember. No way. Yeah, and there's no way you're gonna roofie yourself so right. you can smoke I weed because you wouldn't fucking remember it. No shit. I think. Well, uh, like on a drug test, they have someone doing some shit like you that. You can actually. Uh, they can tell you what drug it is and everything by like you know blood and everything, even p- urine. They can tell you exactly what's in your system. Really, right away. Like when I worked at the drug rehab, mm-hmm. we had to do a drug test on the parolees all the time, and they peed in a cup, and it was a chemical reaction, and it went to cocaine, meth, meth, methamphetamines, uh, THC, and there's a couple other ones like cocaine mm-hmm. and other stuff, the bank, and, the and it would actually drain into each little s- cycle, and it would. If they pop positive, it would tell you exactly what they're on. There's, there's no way to hide it, you know. And Holy if they shit. tried, to, this is how they tried to dilute it. And all you people that think you can dilute stuff, you're just full of crap. They oh, they try to drink. Water. They try to drink like a bunch of gallon of water. Oh, I've heard of people taking like too. whole yeah. bottles of yeah. uh, what's a, what's that drug called that uh, you get at the dollar store? Nicosin? Yeah, it's Nicin. Like a whole bottle Nicin. of Nicin. But the problem is, is um, yeah, that should make you shit you, yourself. But don't you think that people that drug testing they know what you're doing so. Oh, they probably know yeah. tricks more than you. Well, when I when I uh, applied for a job, um, I drank I drank gallons of water. My my pee was actually clear. They made me come back when it was concentrated. They said no, it it's unconclusive. Come back when it's uh, ha- you have actually dark mm-hmm. darker urine, and uh, because you look like you're hiding something. So I had to come back the next day, n- un you know not hydrated basically, 
the show that I had nothing in my system. Damn. But yeah. But people try to do they that. They still crap. try it. Yeah, yeah. Or you go to the it, head shop or they, and get or some they, shit. Or they take vinegar and they drink vinegar. When I was a police officer, when I did DUI stops, uh, people would put pennies in their mouth, and I'm like, are you retarded? <laughs> really? <laughs> what's, a, what's a penny? Well, doing? the copper supposedly messes up the breathalyzer, you know? Allegedly. Allegedly. But I always say you're retarded. Now you're tampering with, I always tell them, now you're refusing. Now you get you, another charge. Yeah, now you're getting another chance for refusing to you take the drug test and, you know, the, the, the breathalyzer. breathalyzer. I mean, and, uh, yeah, they put pennies in their mouth. Because I they, haven't heard that one. Yeah, they put the copper, yeah, the, the, the taste, and the chemicals, and off. I don't the think I want some Abe Lincoln's in my mouth at <laughs> right. all. Like, I just, like <laughs> that's been around the world like four times, and probably yeah. someone else. Who knows how many is in his stomach at that like, moment? Oh yeah. my! <laughs> so how many? Shit. How many times you been stopped this week? Enough. They're yeah, be giving like, them the checks. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, there's one some penny. weird, <laughs> weird ass people out there. But I don't know. It's like where do these myths and urban legends come from for these? These home remedies to get you off of it, you know. So, I don't know. Like Penny? Who I'm tried sure that? someone just like, you we should try this, see if it works. Or someone probably bought like an at home breathalyzer. Oh and no. They're, like the, trying to figure out ways to the like The penny fuck it didn't up. work. But yeah. but um when I was on the uh fire side and fire and ambulance uh, side of uh working, we used to set ourselves up on IVs after a hard night of partying. <laughs> We'd be so drunk and I've heard of that. Yeah, you just set yourself up on an IV and uh, you know, because you're dehydrated, that's why you're drunk, and it would just clear you right up. <laughs> so that must have been a bag, of, so, nice. a bag of solution. Yeah, they uh, got a you know? places in Key West. I know for sure you can go, and it's like thirty minutes. They just hook you up yeah, and hydrate yeah. you, and you're back yeah. to going uh, back wait, to Wall Street. Yeah, wait a second. They probably the have them in Vegas. Vegas. They got them in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. they called vitamin vitamin shops, and yep. basically they just hook you up to like a vitamin, like a bag of vitamins, yep. and you're just yeah, and it's ready just, to go. Yeah, it just kicks it everything that you've done, and just alcohol wise and yeah. it just and they they can put extra vitamins in there like b12 yeah. and all kinds of shit but it's like a one 130 dollars for like a bag and yeah, yeah it is pricey but it's a actual place you can get vitamin shots and that's everything. so fucking yeah. cool another one that well for our job when uh on f-18s when they use liquid ox the pilots you could see them especially key west they'd be like hung over yeah they get in there and take that mask and oh yeah and then it'd be like Huh. instantly back to normal like all right we're good to go <laughs> holy back shit back in the day they'd have like plane captains that you'd probably be partying with and he'd be like hey come up here and just i know a couple of people and just shh, and put it right in their <laughs> face then they told me stories like tw- 20 years ago they that reminds that. me of that movie uh, uh flight with denzel yeah, washington yeah. that's oh, what he did beginning. yeah he, he, took a, hit? Yeah, he yeah. took a hit of that oxygen yeah, he's all that's all it is is mm-hmm. oxygen kind of gives crazy. you a bit more uh helps you breathe a little bit better that's crazy man <laughs> You know, when I, when I was in Texas, you know, I got drug tested like six times in Dang. like a course of like two weeks. Because you're a pothead. No, but my fucking neighbor was a pothead and was smoking weed. And oh, it was dang. getting, somehow, it was like venting into my laundry. Dang. So I was going to work smelling like weed. Ooh. And oh. They kept helps. testing me like, listen, you, you smell like weed. And I was just like, yeah, but like by like the fourth negative, you'd think like I'm not fucking smoking it. I explained it to him that my neighbor was smoking weed and it was just getting everything, making everything smell. Yep. I was like, I'm not fucking smoking weed. Like, <laughs> like you can test me all you want, but I'm not fucking doing it. I'm going to pass yeah. this test every time. Yeah. But it's just every like time. one of those most inconvenient things. You it know, is. it's just like, why can't you just fucking understand mm-hmm. that I'm not e- doing it? Every that. other day you get a whiz quiz. Yeah. Oh, man. I that think they're just like you. looking at my pecker. Yeah. Like, here you go. <laughs> well, that's how it that happened to it. <laughs> they want to see how little it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, the-, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, bitch. Uh, uh, you're not my son. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that what you've been told? Yeah. Hold hey, on. I hate to tell your you this with, now. Your mom's been milk with the milkman. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to tell you. Sorry to tell you. I guy. should have been paying child support. <laughs> <laughs> that happened to a guy I used to work with, too. And he had like a year long battle with the, the neighbor in a complex trying to get that guy like out of there. Oh, wow. He was just always like, it was going into his bedroom and everything. Wow. He had to like do his laundry elsewhere and stash it somewhere. No else. shit. Yeah. They, they said how much uh, these uh, marijuana places in Vegas make a month. It's ridiculous. Oh, it's probably oh, like, it's, a fuck ton. Oh, I can't remember. They just did like a, uh, like how many people go. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's like thousand. I mean, thou- I'm th- thousand. Like I'm talking like in a month is like 60,000 people. Oh, I mean, it's, some, it's something retarded like that. Like I'm saying, Man, there's can... like dispensaries on every corner. The problem with marijuana is uh, if you're in law enforcement, uh <laughs> You can't do it. Even the gummies? No. No. No, I mean, 
So, like, recreational, you can't just walk down the street and decide you're going to smoke marijuana. You can't be cool like, like a that. cigarette. No, no, that's you're going to get picked up by Metro and you're going to go to jail. Or you're going to get a ticket, one of the two. I mean, it's the same with it's, alcohol. You can't I mean, just be you, walking down the street I mean, and drinking alcohol. You can't even smoke it in your car. I know people say, well, a car is kind mm-hmm. of is your home, supposedly. Extension um, of your home. Exactly. Yeah. But I'm telling you. still. But if you get stopped by, uh, you know, Metro, they're going to give you a ticket. Yeah, it's technically, you know. it's like having alcohol in your yeah, car. I mean, under the influence. Yeah, under the influence, exactly. You might go to jail. But, like, these people, they're funny to watch, you know. One's called Planet 13. Oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, just, it's just kind of funny if you sit there and watch them because exactly. everybody walks in there just like normal and they walk out. They're like, Ooh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you're adult and you know what they're doing. You know, yeah. it's so funny. And there's a huge line and how they dress the people. Are, I'm not trying to stereotype, please. I don't stereotype people, but it's funny. Like, you're just, yeah, you're getting high. How yeah, many like, of them are dressed in a yeah. particular oh, yeah. way? I mean, your typical uh, shaggy. Yeah, it's your typical I mean, shaggy. Typical shaggy. Yeah, your fucking dreads, your yeah. big yeah. ass poncho, and yeah. oh, shaggy it's, it's jeans funny. or sweatpants. Oh, yeah. Even when I was in New York City this past weekend, like, you're walking down the street, and all you smell is, like, either stinky homeless dudes yeah. or fucking pot. Like, yeah. it's everywhere up there. Oh. And they have, like, oh, a C- CBD food truck type things up there. And,. Yeah, and it's so bad in uh, Vegas. The air actually smells like marijuana. I mean, really? there's a, yeah, like I it comes it. it comes out like the stacks or something. They must smoke it in. They they must have a place where you can smoke it inside the place. It's too. like a hookah lounge for yeah, marijuana. Serious. Like and I'm there, t- there's a, a blunt for you. One little area of Vegas that you drive and you can just totally smell it, like in the air. It's that strong. Dude, That's crazy. Yeah. I, I bet you those guys are making money. Oh, hand oh over man. Fist. Do you have any idea oh. how much fucking Canada made when they made it federally oh, illegal? I, well, look at they you. sold oh. out within like a, like the first day. Like wow, they didn't have yeah. any left. I mean, wow. fucking it was Colorado gone. was killing it. That's, That's such a small state. Um, you know who owns one of the largest uh, factories in uh, Vegas is Mike Tyson. Yeah, he's got one of the biggest. Wait, what? He, Mike he's, Tyson owns. Really? It. Yeah, he it's owns called, Tyson Planet Thirteen. Yeah, it's called Holy shit. It's, uh, uh, shit. it's called Tyson Ranch. Yeah, and he's, got, really? he's like yeah, one of the biggest the, marijuana. You know what's his what's his name started sell, uh, selling too? A uh, uh, Dan uh, Blazarian? Blazarian? Blazarian, the poker bag guy. Yeah, with he's, all those, the, he's started one of, his the own marijuana sealed. line. I mean, everybody's. Well, I mean, you got, might as well. You might as well get uh, in on it. There's money in it. Yeah. I mean, shit. Mike Tyson, huh. he can just sell off his name alone, oh, yeah, and then yeah. he's always smoking in on his podcast. You know how him and Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg, yeah, oh, oh, oh Snoop yeah. Dogg, Cheech and Chong, <laughs> get them all. Snoop Dogg's like fucking yeah, yeah. old Willie Nelson over there, fucking, <laughs> dude. Yeah. That guy, his, uh, his also, brain's fried. He's got his probably like eight strains of his own shit <laughs> laying around somewhere. <laughs> yeah, especially yeah, his dude. age. Dude, the military is so anti-marijuana. You can't even invest in the marijuana I companies. Really? Yeah. You can't even invest in. Like, you can't, can't even like, like they buy advise you not to advise, or they advise you not to invest. Like really? you can't like get on like Robin Hood and invest. invest? Really? Yeah. I was. It was a big issue like a couple years ago. They're like, hey, like if you're investing in any kind of marijuana company, you need to get out of it. Really? Like, yeah. Because they, they don't want that. military yeah. affiliated yeah, with right. it. Yeah, right. Because it's state. It's well, federal is still illegal. Yeah. Federally, that's like, why banks can't have it in their in their. You yeah. know these vaults? Mm-hmm. They have like buildings full of money. Like they can't have it in like banks. Holy shit! So they got like buildings that's full of money. Their oh. money. Wow! I used that's, to work. I used to work for fucking money. I used to work for Brinks Armed Security. You know, is it a job you haven't fucking done? Yeah, I've done it all. <laughs> Holy shit! I, I don't think we need Ernst on the show. We got him. We're gonna Skype him in. Yeah, Brinks sucks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say that Brinks. Sorry, but <laughs> you're no good. Like a pleasurable job. Yeah, it's it's actually not. It's like UPS with money, but like all your money is not in the banks. So what you're saying is, you're we need to go rob these motherfuckers. We're about to hit the <laughs> you don't you don't go to the bank. You go to these buildings because all your money is not in banks. It's in like the Federal Reserve. No, no, the, it's, just like a, a, it's just it's just a big a, building. No, basically. they're not even Federal Reserve. There's just buildings. Like <laughs> fuck. That like, seems like, when I first started, like there was a vault, and there was like probably probably over. I don't even need to take a guess. Twenty million dollars, fifty million dollars, in this one vault full of money like i was like touching Holy it shit. like i was touching it i was like <laughs> is that real like you just it was see like, him on instagram oh, and he's oh, like crazy yeah, i was like i mean they're just like and rob like, go walk that boner yeah. off what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> don't mind yeah, i'm like mm. i'm like this one bundle like mm, right, right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> this one bundle and, like, and you're like all your coins 
are in the same place. Like they're on like pallets. Like they're stacked. Like like oh kind of, they're like stack. I can't even explain to you. They're like stacked on pallets. How much load bearing does that got to be? Oh, it, oh, it sucks. That's got to be heavy. You know what? Money's heavy. It is. Money yeah. is freaking especially change it's really especially it, like my, okay so i had this retarded partner like all my money <laughs> stacked like okay so we're driving in this armored car right i'm driving we're driving pretty fast he slams on the brake well guess what hit me all the money all the money i mean these boxes of coin like i thought it broke my leg like it landed on my leg and it hurt and i was like okay idiot uh-huh. i'm not happy now because all this money hit me Jesus like, Christ. Yeah, it's uh, crazy how much money uh, is in these buildings. I won't even know how to react to be standing in front, of, kinda... in front of that much money. Yeah. Holy shit. Now, if you go to... I'd the, be tempted. If you go to the Federal Reserve, that's where the big money is. Now, that's billions. They got their own police. And, and if you don't have a special badge to get in there... So, when I my first day, they took me to the Federal uh, Reserve, and I didn't have the special badge. You know what they told me to do? Spread your kick, cheeks. Kick go, fucking rocks. <laughs> go down to go down to the yeah. local McDonald's and sit there and wait for us. Put your teeth on the curb and spread your butt cheeks. But I, they they have their like canine. They go around the a truck mm-hmm. like four times. They run your they run your background right. There. They actually mirrors, run you. They run your background right there. Holy shit. They they uh we have a special hologram badge that you got to wear, and they do a another background mm-hmm. because uh that's where the big money is. That's where oh, yeah. most of the money goes and gets switched out. I mean all the time. If you get a million dollars in quarters, it's 50,000 pounds. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I'm serious. It's it's weird. That's a lot of weight. That's a lot of weight. So I got got robbed at Walmart. (laughs) That's not surprising. Where were you, Indiana? But this guy... (laughs) I, I, was, I was filled. actually in I was actually in Decatur, Illinois. Ah, uh, it yeah. doesn't surprise me. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Decatur, so, Illinois. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like and the guy said the guy said he wasn't trying to rob me, he was just <laughs> pretending. <laughs> Listen, I'm not yeah. trying to rob you, but I give me push, all your shit. Look here, motherfucker, give me that loan. Yeah. I'll bring it back at twelve. I'll flip <laughs> it. I'll flip it. The funny thing <laughs> is is he didn't have a gun, so he walked so check this out. I was on Chris. Oh I had a million I had, this out. I had over a million dollars my bag at the time well brinks always teaches you to keep your like we had a a, a, a mail bag that you put all the money in mm-hmm. and then we had a monitor a monitor that you scan the money in right and you always carry it in your left hand and then your right hand's free for your gun well like an idiot i had the monitor in my left and the bag <laughs> i mean i'm sorry the monitor in my right and the bag in my left because i was like well screw this no one's gonna try to rob me at walmart yeah at walmart i'm walking around right who so, the fuck walks around Walmart with a million dollars? Well, I was going. Franks does. Well, they they go in, they pick up the money, and they go back to the truck, and then they take it back to the uh, business, right? That's what we do. We oh, that's man. how we switch I out money. I didn't expect that much money. To oh, be oh, 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 oh man, <laughs> those those trucks. We had a, well, oh, you got to oh, figure over a million like fucking I mean, in Walmart. The well, there's a whole fucking family of Waltons that are oh, billionaires. So yeah. This I mean, was on Christmas, and my bag was oh, full. There, there we go. See, that's a fuck ton of money on that. So, day. like, so I this guy walks in. This, this I'm not gonna say what color he was because that's racist, I guess. But you know what I'm saying. He walks up to me and he Must grabs. White. He grabs my yeah. <laughs> Booyah. You got Decatur, it. Decatur, Illinois, yeah. at a Walmart. Yeah, he's white as fuck. W- white, <laughs> white or white. He grabs my bag. And I like look, the, at, literally grabs my bag, and I look at him. So I thumped him with the monitor. Booyah! <laughs> 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 I I thumped him so hard, right? Well, there was a cop that patrols like the Walmart. You know, mm-hmm. at the door, he stands there. He see me thump this guy, and the guy like falls back, and he falls on the ground. And the guy, you know, cop comes over and puts some handcuffs. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I said, hey, you just tried to rob me. <laughs> and the guy's like, no, I was just pretending. And the guy goes, <laughs> really? <laughs> pretending. We'll so the, tell the judge this. Yeah, yeah so, I was just yeah. joking. So I, so I <laughs> just told, joshing. Yeah, you got, it's training. Yeah. I'm from corporate. <laughs> yeah, I, I told this I told this white guy, I said, listen, you know I could have shot you. Because that's our policy. If someone tries it. Oh, yeah, I'm probably going to shoot I, on sight. Like, yeah, exactly. We can put a hole in you. Like. And I'm like, you're lucky I had the monitor. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so the manager comes out and he goes, I just watched it on video. That's hilarious. <laughs> he goes, do you mind if I use that for training purposes? I said, absolutely. <laughs> so if your hands are yeah. full, this is what you do. Watch yeah. closely. So 
of course, I had to do an instant report on the whole mm-hmm. thing, and my managers are like, this is why we keep our hand free. <laughs> <laughs> did you learn a lesson? But check this no, out. He this did. is what I hate about Brinks is... Uh-oh. Calm down, that, chill, bro. That, that's Buffalo... Oh, that's uh, Bumble saying uh, you're in trouble. <laughs> it says here, <laughs> Buffalo Bill. I, I, wish it was, I wish it was that Hawaii. I wish it was Linda. We yeah. get her on the we air. We got to be like, hey, Linda. We're Special on the guest, yeah. Linda. So anyways, uh, what was I saying? So Brink sucks. Brink sucks. Oh, Brink, Brink, oh, yeah, Brink sucks. This is why it sucks. For number one, after 40 hours, you only get 10 hours overtime. That's all they pay you. So and have- it goes to straight time. So I work 80 hours a week, and you only get 10 hours of that for over time and a half. That's bullshit. They, Ooh, check this out. So, cheap asses. Yeah. They, they got under called um, a... Uh, they call you contractor? No, something? it's a armor law. Armor law. Um, vehicle law. That That's stupid. Yeah. They try to sue them. You know, the people try to the picket and everything saying, hey, this is not right. And like, yeah, whatever. We find this law. It's like, it's like an armor law. Mm-hmm. They transport money, and they can only pay you this much. And this is why Brink sucks, too, is if your partner's getting robbed, right? They're in there, and they're coming out, and they add a gun to them. The guy and the driver is supposed to drive away and let you get wasted. You know why? No. Do you know why? There's way more money in the truck. Exactly. Because if they get you, too, they get all the money and your partner and you. So, I mean, it makes, to be fair, it, it makes, it makes sense. It makes, it makes a lot of sense. But, but it sucks. But, like, you, you know that. You're watching your your your. See you, Gerald. <laughs> your partner you're like, giving you those puppy dog yeah, hugs. Like, bro. Right. And you he sit a, there. Like, he has a gun to his head, and you're just like, see ya, buddy. And he's just sitting <laughs> yeah. in the rear views, and then My he Linda. <laughs> comes across his screen. Wasted. 10-4. Yeah. Uh, 10-4. God, you have a full so, conversation with your eyes. Just like. I'll tell, right. you, I'll tell your wife at lunch. Yeah. like <laughs> yeah, just, I'll, I'll take care of her. But this thing, well, you have to, if if that Man. happened and he wasted them, and you have to remember that throughout you your life. How like, you, you drove away. Like, you didn't help yeah. me. I'd be probably driving over to both of them or tr- pulling out a gun and shooting. Yeah. Uh, well, I went to drive, and I went the wrong way. I forgot it was in reverse. No, I, I hit I, the perp. I, I, don't, I told my manager, I don't think I could drive away. I just really can't. This that's my instinct. But, like, really, it sucks. Like, I mean, it'd be hard. That would be hard. I don't know if I could do it. Just drive away. But then... But I would hope my partner has a hot But then it gets... Gotta take care of her. <laughs> Brinks decided they were getting... Brinks decided they were going to get slick, and they decided to, to make their truck smaller and make the uh, messenger the driver, too. So now there's only one, one tr- guy. One guy, but guess what, everybody? Their radios don't go to a dispatcher. They're all fake. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. What? Yeah. They don't have a dispatcher. Like, if you get robbed, you're by yourself. You're basically calling to nobody. Yeah. <laughs> breaker, breaker, one. <laughs> help. Help. And you're, you're hoping that he buys it. You hear that truck <laughs> driver is on the same frequency. <laughs> hey, get the fuck off my lawn. <laughs> Super trucker is going to call it. Hey, motherfucker, get off oh, here. This yeah. is Rusty Nails. <laughs> Please help me. Please help, help me. me. Uh, the chicken man. But yeah, they went down to a one man, right? So is that, Why is it? The cut cost? Yeah, the cut cost. Because now they don't have to have a messenger and a driver. Because your driver would drive around, keep an eye on everybody, you know, mm-hmm. when you go in and come out with the money, they could keep you like a backup. Yeah. And sense. if something happens, they can call in. But now it's like this one person. That's dumb. So, You're so, handling a lot of money by yeah. yourself, and I don't think that should be a thing. So it's kind of funny because uh, we have cameras that's supposed to be monitored 24 hours by managers, right? Like in the truck? In the trucks, yeah. Okay. So they watch you, you know, so you don't take any money or whatever. Well, they're going to watch me pick my nose all <laughs> yeah. fucking day. So yeah, right. they're looking at looking at the money and stuff. So this guy was, one of our drivers, been there like 15 years. Like He's getting ready to retire. He was texting, and he crashed. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, they're like, he's like, uh, I wasn't texting. It's videoed. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, that sucks. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah. He's like, guess what? You're fired. <laughs> you worked a lot of years for a <laughs> shitty yep, company. Yep, yep. He got fired. Yep. In this Brinks truck with a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> like, really? Oh, like, you know that's exactly what I'd be doing. Oh, I know. no matter how small it is, if you got $20 <laughs> oh, million dollars sandwiched <laughs> sandwich between it. It's the, that's the biggest fucking thing on earth. You see a little like, Vienna sausage. This, so that's how Elon Musk does it. It'd be like scary. <laughs> He's like twitching, going mm. like scary movie when they got that picture of his dick or whatever. <laughs> I'm surprised people don't rob those guys a lot more than what they have in the past. You know, like because 
they would be an easy target. Because they sound incredibly easy. If you're <laughs> fucking criminal. I'm serious. Like, serious. It's hard like, to get away with. Well, well you know, now those, they those bills are tracked. Yeah, I mean, and plus, if you're an yeah. average American walking around with millions of dollars. That's what I'm saying. Like, camera, track, cameras yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Everyone's got a camera. Yeah. Or, you know, um, the IRS would be up your ass. This brings you have we to pay have, everything in cash. We have gold coins, too, like gold. Mm-hmm. And uh, we because we carry gold, the gold coins uh, people buy. And in New York City, these two Brinks guys decided they were going to be slick. One guy put it on the bumper, the whole box of gold coins. Well, he set it up like a robbery, and somebody came by when he turned around and snatched the box. Oh, my God. And he said he got robbed. <laughs> he said he set it on the bumper and tied his shoe, and it was gone. Oh, and, but shit. those boxes of coins, like I said, they're heavy as hell. I mean, yeah. somebody couldn't run like you'd have to fifty you, miles. You know, you'd they couldn't run like real fast with a box of coins. There's no way you had to let that guy like mollywop you a little bit. Mm. But I think uh, they were caught or something because you know, they got caught up in their story or whatever. Oh yeah, it's hard to keep Stupid. a consistent story between. A couple it's of not even right? worth it to me. I mean, it's not trust me. I, I've looked at that money and go, I can't, I can't lie. Oh man, I'd love to just let me take take a bundle. That's a bundle. You know what I'm saying? Like a bundle. We had one guy that worked for us. Uh, he worked for Springfield PD. He actually stole a box of money, and he got hired as a police officer right after. But they didn't charge him for the the box of pennies, I guess. I don't remember the whole thing, but he actually did take a box of pennies. Like he said, he left it in his whatever and forgot about it or something. <laughs> yeah, okay. He made a story, yeah, but, okay. but I mean, forgot about he it. actually took it. I mean, they, they used to talk behind his back. I'm sorry, dude. He's probably retired now, but um, he lived right across the street from us uh, on uh, Kern Street. You know, remember, oh, Fo- yeah. remember Fonzie? The guy yeah. next to him to the right, his son worked for uh, Springfield PD. Oh, shit. Okay. But he worked for Brinks before Springfield. And, uh, yeah, and it was a big thing that he stole a box of pennies and got, a, you know, got, got caught. A, he got a, caught. Got a police officer job right you know after. What? Can you imagine that being held over your head? Do you know how much, Brinks, you know how much you make at Brinks, too? 12 bucks an hour, dude. Dude, you, I couldn't pay my rent out 12 here. Twelve bucks that. an hour. You make more at fucking McDonald's. Twelve bucks an hour. I, mean, I was like, what? I looked at uh, oh well, the sign at Target the other day, and it was like sixteen, seventeen here. Really? Holy yeah. Shit. Just being a, a like working probably self checkouts. You know, just I an associate Target. I mean, I thought it was cool at the time. The reason why I took the job was I could carry a forty-five and bulletproof <laughs> vest. And I was, I was like a badass. I was like walking around like. But then after I did it, I was like, this sucks. <laughs> yeah. This job sucks. So what you're saying is the hour sucks, the pay sucks, and the whole job sucks, but I get to carry it yeah. I thought <laughs> I was, I'm in. No, I, Let's I, go. I was All like, right. I, I thought Sounds I was Because cool. they had a really nice, like, cool-looking bulletproof vest you wore. It was like it was like a SWAT you're looking. looking you're, you know? you're wearing this, but you're on food stamps. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That was cool, though. Yeah, yeah look cool yeah, going to the was cool going to the food bank for my three children. Yeah, because Bumble was like, yeah, look at him. I just imagine fucking what's that? What's that fucking movie yeah, called Masterminds with Zach Galifianakis? Exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he robs the armor yeah. truck. <laughs> He just uh, grazed my biscuits. He's, he's over there. With just grazed me. He's got his hand right here. Yeah, he shoots himself. He's like, hey, hey, son, take a picture of me for Bumble. Oh, so, <laughs> exactly. much oh, so much pussy. So much I told you. <laughs> then he See? ends up in Hawaii and he can't get his way back to the yeah. airport. These girls, yeah, these girls are going to need a fucking towel <laughs> for my Toyota Tundra. <laughs> like, I'm a badass. <laughs> Oh, Holy shit, shit, that's funny as hell. Dude, just stay away from those sites, man. I'm just saying, just stay, stay, <laughs> stay far away. Oh, like, yeah. figure it out. No, no, no. Go to church. <laughs> that's a lot safer than some of the go, catfish go, stories go to, you've heard oh, of. Dude, yeah, catfish too. Like, what is, what's up with the hygiene? Like, again, like I told you, like, teeth are very important to me. What's up with this? Like, huh. just Wait. brush, just Wait. brush women. Or men, just brush. That's, yeah, That's all you got to do. Wait till this cat takes you around the local populace here. You're going to oh, see Jesus some. Christ. Yeah, it's you're like, going to see some shit. See some, you're going to see some shit. Really? Oh, yeah, dude. That's there's fast. some dirty hippies around yeah. here. Yeah, it's fucking bad. I'm pretty sure oh, the Amish yeah. people are way clean. No, they're, when we went there, those people were pristinely clean. Oh, really? yeah. Like, the people oh, in yeah. there. Pretend Amish they're, people. Yeah. yeah, and compared to the, the people that were in there buying this shit, like, uh, man. They it's, were, like, uh, it's like, it's uh, like, uh, it's like. Oh, what was that town right next to us? It's real fucking dirty ass town. God damn it! Start with a T. Taylorville. Oh, it's, Taylorville. Yeah, it's kind of like oh. Taylorville. 
Okay. Or uh, what was that other one that mom used to go to all the time? It smelled like shit, <laughs> like all the time. I forgot oh, what it oh. with. Bloomington? No, that's, no. that's Decatur. You, is that, that Decatur? Yeah, that's, that's, yeah it, it, smells like, like, okay. it smells like the... Uh, it smells like the, shit. Yeah, because of the factory. Yeah, yeah the factory. Like corn. Yeah. They burn the corn. And it yeah. smells Ethanol. horrible. Ethanol. So yeah, imagine, that's enough, imagine yeah. that populist, yeah, but yeah. like... No teeth. Really hick. Ugh. Like, that's... that's. Like, I don't understand the hygiene thing. Like, um, again, you know, I might smell once in a while, but... We all have a... Yeah, but know. like... Some people are consistent. People always ask me, how do you keep your teeth? How, do you, how are they so white? I'm like, because I brush. I'm like, God, what? What? <laughs> like, everybody, and everybody, everybody at my work, you know, the guys and the women are like, God, you got really nice teeth. I'm like, how, what? You have good hygiene? I mean, good mm-hmm. genetics, they say. No, I go to the dentist every three months and I get you know, my flossings. I get whatever needs to be fixed, yeah. fixed, you know? You got insurance, you but, might as well fucking yeah, use Yeah, like... It. I understand people have bad um, hygiene, uh, not hygiene, but bad genetics. Mm-hmm. But hey, flossing and f- using like a water pick is yeah. But I, I heard recently, of hygienics, it's like one in, thir- one in like thirty people. Yeah, I started using a water pick, and I'm telling you, water someone, picks are the bomb. Someone else was telling me about that do recently. It. Really? Do it. And they were yeah. like, they got one for Christmas, not this past year, but like a year and a half ago. Yeah, never used it, and then they uh, finally were like, I, they were using one of those floss picks. And yeah, like yeah. Took a chunk of tooth. No shit. Yeah, and they told their mom, and their mom was like, "Why don't you use the fucking water pick I got you?" And yeah. they were like, "Oh, let me try it." Zap that thing up. And they're like, "Why haven't I been using this the yeah, whole fucking super time?" Super nice. Okay, like I it bought looks one. Like I'm gonna have to invest in one. No, I'm, I'm think, serious. Like I'm thinking about it. Actually, I swear to God, I bought. Um, they got them at the. Exchange. I got one. How much are they? They're not expensive. Like thirty, like thirty bucks. They're not they're expensive cheap. at all. They're cheap. You just cheap water. Yeah. What, what I do is up. I, yeah, put uh, about the ten percent peroxide. Mm-hmm. inside with water yeah. and that's what my dentist told me and i'm telling you it gets all that floss doesn't get in between your Dude, teeth i'm about to have some serious star to serious I, know, right? I mean serious like i'm like holy moly I, I need to do this all the time now it's funny you like, bring hygiene up because uh my wife actually asked me like i could go to the stinks. gym and work out for now oh, okay. i could go to the gym and work out for like an hour and come back smelling just fine yeah. and it's like that's like it blows people away. It's just mm. like, oh, I wear deodorant oh, and man. I shower. That's a good You're thing. Probably, I, I, I would put deodorant right before I went. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I do. I put it on my like, palms. How do you, how do you yeah. smell so good? Well, I just, I, <laughs> I put some deodorant, <laughs> I slap some powder on the nuts and Whoa. go to town. Yeah, you get sprayed on deodorant <laughs> so it doesn't cake up and yeah, turn into a baby batter. I was going to say, he has like a little like batter a, down there. It looks like oh, brownie yeah. batter. Oh, yeah. Um, I think I got my Tesco. Test, 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 you test okay? Test, 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 test. <laughs> <laughs> fucking screw it out. <laughs> my, 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 my test, 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 That's his half of the genes. <laughs> 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 Testicle koozie. My Testicle testicle koozie. Give you him a wash. Uh, fucking hygiene. I do not stink. We never said you stunk. <laughs> she, she, she <laughs> so you're, okay, okay, yeah. you're your feet, feet, your feet fucking stink though holy shit oh man her no. feet fucking stink yeah but so only yeah. after like a long day oh so like one of the fucking hygiene things that i tried recently was getting yeah. a pedicure oh I those got, are nice I got roped into it right i used to Not crash bad. it yeah yeah that's a bomb. 25 bucks, dude. Your feet come out. Like, seriously. seriously. She keeps trying to yeah. drag me into it. I'll tell you what. It's, it's worth, worth it. it. Is it? I'll yeah. go with you tomorrow. Because, I don't yeah, care. Let's go. Yeah, hey, we're I'm all, dead hey, serious. we're all going to go get pedicure. Yeah, you know, you know I'm what? I'm dead serious. It is so fucking you, good. You know, one good What's thing up? about you know, good thing about pedicures is, uh, you know, how we cut our nails. You always get, like, the ingrowing toenails. Especially me with my boots. Yeah, that's They know how to cut your nails in a perfect line. This lady got in there. Yeah. My feet were fucking hurting from, like, ingrown nails from the boots. I couldn't get this thing out. So that was kind of like one of the reasons I ended up giving in to go. Yeah. And they fucking took like a Dremel, got like the discoloration from like my feet being fucked up from right. my boots. And then they cleaned them all up. And then they put this little <clears throat> fucking hot stones all yeah. down my legs. Yeah. Yep. Rub they my massage legs. them. Where, yeah. where the fuck is this at? Uh, there's a place by me that was like really cheap. And it's a whole family of Asians that do. They've mm-hmm. cornered the market on this fucking business. They're in there. Just killing it. All right, I guess we know what we're doing tomorrow. Then they had this big ass thing of wax next to me, Mm -hmm. so I paid for that. Mm -hmm. And I was like, dip each foot Mm -hmm. in there three times, Mm -hmm. and they put a wax thing on me and these little bags. I sat there totally for like ten minutes, and they pulled that shit off like a face mask, like clean one shot. And I, I rubbed my feet after, and I was Mm -hmm. like, I'm coming back. Yeah. You yeah. just got to have cash Ooh. cash tips for this place that I went now, to. Now, did they uh, scrape your feet with, like, a cheese grater? Like, you know. They like, use, like, some little brush yeah, thing. Yeah, a little brush thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. It, it, was, it felt, you think when you look at it, it's like, it's going to feel like fucking shit. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. 
Dude, yeah. It, yeah. it's one of those fucking your mom, things. Your mom used to take me, and I was like, this is gay, I feel gay, but afterwards, yeah. I'm like, I'm gay now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm switching uh, teams. Dude, one, th- one thing that put me at ease when I first uh, walked in, there was this just monstrous, jacked, athletic, older guy, yeah. and he just got his feet done, and then he was over there getting his nails yeah. trimmed up, too. And yeah, I was serious. Like, you know what? If he comes out here fucking doing it, who oh, yeah. my, my little pot belly ass? Yeah. Be I'm going to get my shit, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Dude, it's fucking clean them things up. Yeah, like... <laughs> it's one of those things you like don't want to do because the toxic masculinity in us. Right. But then you do it once, and you're like, I don't give a fuck what I'm you ser- say. I'm serious. Like people, I mean, yeah, will talk I, yeah, shit Hank about keeps, it. Hank keeps trying to get me to go. It's I guess it's, wor- to it's worth the out. money. Some places are a little bit more expensive. Yeah, some places like forty, yeah, about bit, forty bucks, but fifty bucks. Not, but the base one uh, place I went to is only twenty five, yeah. which is That's fucking. Not bad. I heard was cheap. And they soak them in this like warm water, like oh, a little little water. Water. like a little. Like you want to go whirlpool water. Yeah, you want to go pee. You know how like that water you want to like when you put your feet in. You're like, ah, oh, now nah, I got to piss. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, like what's going on? But yeah, the little Chinese they smile at you. And we're oh, they're feet. so nice. And they're so you know they're and nice. They're people. doing for feet all day. They're nice people. And feet and hands. Now they got a place in like in some places where they have these little fish that eat the dead skin. I've, I've seen that. Wait, what? Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll fit, like, like little, little guppies and shit. Little suck fish, they call them, or sucker fish. They'll eat all the dead skin yeah, off they your just, feet. There are like hundreds of them, and they just go around eating, like clinging to your leg or your feet and eat the dead skin. No shit. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. shit. Yeah. That's some weird shit out That's there. That's some weird shit. Though. You gotta go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta venture out there. I guess so. Yeah. There's a lot of things I haven't tried. Not yeah, I, yeah. Actually, I want to tell a story about a uh, a massage. My massage experience. Uh, sh- <laughs> All right. I, I'm but, sorry. I'm sorry. You better c- close our ears. I really hope my friend doesn't watch this podcast. I was saving it for. <laughs> She's gonna have a consistent fucking trend going. Yeah, right? I don't give a shit. <laughs> Fuck him, dude. He knows what he did. So okay, so so we worked for like two months straight, right? We're in Australia and we were doing a uh, Talbot Saber. I'm sure you've probably heard of it because you're at 84. Yeah, I've heard. Um, of, I've heard of it. And after two months, uh, me and my buddy were just, like, trying to figure out what we wanted to do because we were going out in town. Uh-huh. We are like, let's go get massages, right? You know, we just got, you know, done working, right. you know, all these hours for forever. So we decided to go uh, go get a massage, and now I've never gotten one. No, I got one at a mall, and it was fucking horrible. I still haven't got one. Really? A massage? fucking sucks. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. It sucks, but it's great. Huh. But we decided to go to this, like, little, tiny, like, hole-in-the-wall massage parlor, Uh-oh. but it had really good reviews. Like, Ooh. a lot of people said this place is great. <laughs> I bet it did. <laughs> yeah, so we go there, a little and extra service. my <laughs> friend, Rapper. so my friend gets pulled <laughs> back first, and then a few minutes later, I get pulled back, and it's this, like, little old lady, Uh-oh. and she's run my back, right? She's run my back. She's run my calves. Oh. She's freaking run my legs. Everything is great. Then she tells me to turn over, so I turn over. She's run my chest. You have a little and, towel over your. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a towel on. She was run. She was run my arms, and then next thing I know, she freaking pulls down the tab, towel, and like grabs my wiener. Whoa! And, like, start freaking like <gasps> like grabs it, and I like swashed her away, and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa stop, stop, stop! She had a gorilla. Bro. Whoa! Oh, yeah, tiny little old lady. I'm just like, Dang. no. I was like, I'm good. Like, I'm not. No, I don't want that. Like, I understand. Like, in some places, that's Dang, okay. Yeah. But I was like, no, I don't yeah. want that. Yeah, so, you should at least ask. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, code word. Sexual assault. So she says, right. like, hey, yeah. code, right? code yeah. words. Um, you're going to jail. But like <laughs> I said, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I didn't know what I was paying for. Yeah, that's so what my big thing is. I, don't I know get what the dressed fuck to look for. <laughs> exactly right. So I get dressed and I go out in the lobby and my like I got pulled back second and my friend's not out there right like uh-huh. the, so the little lady <laughs> he's back there walks out of the room <laughs> he's he's the lady walks out of the room i i come way in the lobby and then he comes out all fucking happy and smiling uh, and i'm just like so how was your him. massage man and he's just like it was really good it felt yeah. great yeah. Mm, i was like man. i bet it did fake it. i was like <laughs> i was telling him what happened to me and he's just like oh yeah i know i was like dude you didn't get jacked off by that little old lady did you He's like, man, she knows how to do it. Oh, oh, like, oh, oh, what the, what the fuck, oh, man? It is what it is. Boys. I guess it is what it is. Age oh, over oh, beauty, I guess. Oh, Age over beauty. She was experienced. Yeah, you gotta geez, think about oh. how many dicks she strokes a day. That's what I'm saying, She's, dude. Her she, hands are like freaking all so, nubs. Like fucking, she had to. Yeah, man. She you know, know, in Vegas, brothels are uh, are illegal. You know, and where I live. Uh, the town's only like four thousand people. There's a brothel. I I know, I don't. I'm from Illinois. 
I don't know what brothels are. Holy <laughs> shit. Like, no, no, what no, is no, a brothel? Is, is you want to go learn about Abraham Lincoln? Right. What if it wasn't for the internet? What's a brothel? If you didn't have the internet, you would never know. No. But I mean, of course, I'm not a dumb man with a brothel, but I'm like... I've never been in a brothel. I'm mm-hmm. like, hmm, I'm going to check it out. I just want to go in and try to get a T-shirt. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking, yeah, but I work for a pre- – I'm, I'm working like law hey. enforcement. It might look really bad if I go in a brothel, but I'm like, you know what? I'll just go in there and have a beer and just, you know, just see what the experience or what, what's what, all – What do they offer? Yeah, like what do they do in there? Like do they just offer sex? You know, like, hey, yeah. come back here. Let me – so I go in this brothel, right? And these chicks, like, have no teeth in it. And I'm like, uh, I didn't even have a beer. I just walked out. <laughs> when I think God. of brothel, I think I of that, like, that scene from uh, White Castle with Neil Patrick Harris. When he's oh running out of the brothel. Oh, yeah, shot yeah, yeah. The mama sons chasing yeah. the mama son. <laughs> the mama son. <laughs> but, I mean, of course, the ones, of course, in Vegas, they're, they're on the outskirts. They're not actually inside Vegas. Mm-hmm. They're in, like, the outer skirts of Vegas. They're legal, and uh, you'll pay some big money. But uh, those girls, those girls are making big bucks. Then. But they, they are. They do go see a doctor. Uh, they have like a little. They gotta show you their certificate of cleanliness. If they have no disease. I mean, if it's like, like a little, yeah, 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 vaccine. Yeah, got my AIDS. Test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm clean. <laughs> you, yeah, but, I guess you gotta uh, regulate that. Yeah, they regulate it. Yeah, the good the. the the state uh, regulates it. Yeah, they do. They, oh, shit. They get money off that stuff. It's probably, yeah. They probably make a lot off it. Not only that, but like Vegas is Sin City. Oh, and yeah. Obviously, oh, yeah. you should legalize the, I mean, the craziest um, shit. Not murder, but the craziest yeah. shit. There's still like prostitution on the street, you'll see. And uh, Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. sure. That's, you know, if you just remember, boys, if you go to Vegas, it's probably an undercover cop because there's a lot of undercover. Yeah. Uh, of, yeah, lots, I believe it. Lots of undercover. You lots probably, undercover. if you have a chick that you know that's probably quite a, you know, yeah. quite a bit outside your yeah. tier. Yeah, like, she's on. probably a cop. I feel like you'd have to treat <laughs> it like, hooker. I feel like you'd yeah. have to treat it Either like Either way, you're like, fucked. Like, you're, probably, you're going to jail. Like, you're going to lose your job. But they had this sting where they're picking up these uh, guys, like, between the ages of uh, 21 and 40, uh, these young girls. You ever seen that where they they say, "Hey, oh. I'm 14 years old. Mm-hmm. Hey, come over to my house." Like it's the a Chris sting. Hansen, like, yeah, shit like a do. like a sting, right? Yeah. And they did they do this in Vegas all the time. You know what? And it's funny. There are never like guys that are construction workers. There's always like firemen or police officers that get Isn't caught that up. Weird. Yeah, really? they they had four firemen in Vegas that got just picked up. Man, oh my God. Like, and they're like high paying jobs. They're not like guys oh, yeah. that make like. Twenty thousand. You guys can make like eighty, ninety, a hundred thousand. Like, oh shit! And oh yeah, they get stung and and then and, and they get blasted on like the paper and oh, I'm sure social media and you're going to jail, man. That's terrible. You are messed. You Fuck messed yeah. yourself. Like I couldn't. I, obviously, we started as trash and bumble. <laughs> I'd rather get on bumble, there and bumble. take my chance. But like when I would be on there, I'd start my shit off at like twenty five, twenty six. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, because yeah. you, know, you gotta go up. Yeah, if you can't get in a bar, play a uh, California is trying to trying to lower their um, age from uh, consent from eighteen down to fourteen. Wait, Didn't they what? have that fucking yeah, shit? They're, trying, they're, uh, they're trying to lower their consent. They were saying it's like a mental uh, disorder for these dudes that like little old ladies and boys or whatever. They're, Whoa! Yeah, they're, yeah. <laughs> Did you miss that during the pandemic? Uh uh-uh. uh-uh. Yeah, that was a whole thing that they were trying to like. I don't know how they're trying to classify it as, but uh, basically try to get that legalized. Yeah, that's where they. Oh, scale! Like, how fucked up is fucked know, up. People are fucked, fucked up. up. <laughs> Our world's falling apart. I'm telling you, it's with gas prices going up and everybody's doing some weird stuff out there, man. The internet mm-hmm. just makes it more available to you. Oh, dude, you, the, 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 the shit on the internet right now is what's making everything ten times worse. Oh, yeah, geez. like we, we talked about in the last podcast. Like, there's so many things that we just didn't worry about when we were younger. Especially yeah. you. you yeah, I, don't fuck fuck I, know I didn't even know what I had a phone. I had a phone book. <laughs> he was still buying encyclopedias <laughs> from a dude. Oh, I gotta call my buddy about this. <laughs> uh, dial. <laughs> dude, oh, I, fuck! I missed uh, the number. Dude, hang, <laughs> up, hang up. I'll go down to the payphone. Yeah, yeah. Dude, call, in. call collect. Dude, I remember being like uh, less than ten years old, probably like seven to eight, yeah. nine, something around there. I was playing little league baseball. And a storm was about to come, and uh, I, I wasn't going to be able to make it to the house in Bismarck where right. we lived in Illinois. And they took me into the little concession stand, like, here, yeah. call your mom. And it had a rotary, rotary phone. And I was like, how do you work this? Oh, and my God. Like, oh, I'll show you it. And I was like, what the fuck yeah. is this? Stone <laughs> Age motherfucker. We had, like, we <laughs> had, like, like the 90s operators and stuff. Like, you call, like, uh, 
four one one. Oh, and, I, I still uh, yeah, remember those operators that would give you information or whatever on somebody or whatever, and like uh, map, like the map book, like when I was on the ambulance and stuff, like we'd have to have a map book to look up. We didn't have GPS. Yeah. You had to actually learn yeah, how to street, read a map book. The street, the street. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I remember the family trips, the big ass. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Falling the highlighter. They use a highlighter. Yeah. Map quest. So <laughs> I want to tell you a little story about uh, um, Nick's little Nick's uh, Nick's mom, Lisa. Uh, this is kind of funny. Lisa was my ex. Is my ex wife. Uh, you know. Uh, so hi, Lisa. So, anyways, I got to tell her. I got. I got. I got. Well, she does. I got. I got to tell her this story because it's kind of uh, funny for guys that. Uh, want to say things out of the pocket to their wives or their girlfriends, and this is why you don't do it. So it was Nick. It was Nick, Austin, and Jess, and we're heading down to St. Louis. I think we were going to the zoo or something, and, you know, we had this old and new van, but one of those big box vans, right? And we're Mm -hmm. cruising like 80 miles an hour, cruising along. You remember the McDonald's? They had those huge iced teas. You know the big ones. I mean, like the super size. Yeah, the like time. yeah, the super size, right? Yeah. Thanks, fucking so, Morgan. Me and me and Nick, me and Nick's mom was arguing about something. I don't remember what, and you know, and uh, we're just arguing, and I and I call her a bitch. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> now you fucked up. Yeah. I go. I said, "You stupid bitch." She goes. <laughs> She goes, excuse me? Oh, and I dude. said, I didn't stutter, you stupid bitch. Guess what happened? Oh, you got the balls put on you. <laughs> oh, man. She, she took that big iced tea, yep. right? And she can remember this. She'll laugh her ass off. She heard this because she goes, she remembers this. So she hit me with that iced tea. <laughs> and I was, and you know what? And most guys when maybe would have back slapped the woman, but you know what? I laughed and the kids were just rolling because there was iced tea from top to bottom. My glasses. In, a box tr- in his yeah, Astro yeah, van. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Astro van. And my glasses, you know, glasses are. Oh, real- dude, he had those big Oh, I had the big, big glasses. <laughs> you know, like Dahmer. Like, yeah, the ones we got from the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the big glasses were like hanging off my face like every time. <laughs> Like and it's, I'm just and and Nick and Austin and Jess are just and they're little. They're, I can't remember. I think they were like eight years old or something, and so around that age. And they're rolling right. And I had to pull over, <laughs> and she goes, "I don't take that crap from a guy." <laughs> and I go, "Yes, ma'am." Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And then she goes, uh, "My daddy taught me how to defend myself, yeah. with, uh, with, even with, with fucking iced tea." Yeah, with iced tea, and I go, and Rex and, I said, oh. and I and I told her, I said, "Yeah, kudos on you, man." And I said, "I deserve that." She, and then you know what? After that day, I don't think I've uh, talked to her like that ever, like that uh, in that manner yeah. ever again. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, you not without a wetsuit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always like I always like stories. I'm gonna give you one more story before we wrap up or whatever. So when I was a cop, we were heading Wisconsin, right? And uh, you're not supposed to carry your duty weapon or your off-duty weapon mm-hmm. with you. So we're I get pulled over by the PD. You know, uh, it was state police, Wisconsin state police. Well, of course, Lisa she decides to pull out the video camera because she thought it was funny. I was gonna get a ticket as a police officer. <laughs> So, <laughs> that is kind of so she has it rolling, right? Of course, I had these douchebags, Austin, Jess, and Nick back there rolling. <laughs> <There's laughs> <Douche laughs> these douchebags, kids in the back rolling, right? So this cop comes up and, how are you doing, sir? Can I see your license? Yes, sir. So, you know why you, I pulled you over? I said, yeah, speeding. And he goes, uh, he goes, do you, you know, do you, you have any drugs or anything in the car? I said, no, sir. I said, no, I don't drink. Or, he goes, oh, where are you going? I said, oh, we're going fishing up uh, Hayward, Wisconsin, and Okay, um, and I said, I'm a police officer in Illinois. First thing he says, you got your weapon on you? <laughs> no, sir. Guess what my son, douchebag, to my right said? Dad has his gun on him. He's lying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lisa, Lisa will crack this one up because she remembers this. Of course, she's filming, of course, she's filming this. You see the camera shaking? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see where your daughter yeah, gets yeah. the snitching from. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, he's like, Dad has it. And, and I said, no, I don't. And he goes, yeah, you do. And the cop goes, sir, do you have your gun on you? And I said, no, sir. I said, I don't know what he's, he's a little kid. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Little bastard. I'm going to beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just like, I'm just like, I want to reach out and punch him like right in the mouth. Like, I really did. Like, I don't care about beating my kids, but like, I wanted to punch him right in the jaw and knock him out. I think it, 
of course, my you can tell. I think that police officer knew I had my gun on him because yeah. my face was just like, I'm going to beat that shit out of that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, this one. Right, you know, not be a son of a bitch. I said, <laughs> I, said my, I said, I don't know what my child's saying, but, you know, I, he, sometimes I carry my gun, but I know I'm going to a different state. And I did have it on me, though. And, <laughs> and I'm like, and, and the policy was is you would have to give it to the state police, and then you'd have to pick it up on the way back through. But then they call your chief, and oh, yeah, it's yeah. a big whole deal. Fuck it's that. it's not cool. I wanted to punch him so bad. <laughs> I just want to tell you that. I forgot to tell you that. <laughs> but uh, we drove away with no ticket, but I'm like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> and like, get to the next, <laughs> get to the next McDonald's. Yeah. Like, Guess what? Yeah. Ice tea's on you now, yeah. motherfucker. This, this is your new home. You're staying here. <laughs> just said, hey, hey, hey. They, I hope yeah. they're working in there, so go ahead and go get you a job and pay your way back. My no kid. fishing for you. I just wanted to beat his ass right there. <laughs> you know? Like... Uh, we have a lot of good stories, though. I mean, Jesus. God. Oh, yeah. Like, crazy shit. <laughs> I'm full of stories. You have, have some, stories? I got stories. You have some good ones. Oh, my goodness, dude. Oh, yeah. The after dark, Oh, too. man. You know, Lisa could tell you probably more stories than I can cause, about me, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, yeah. I've been around the block. <laughs> it's seasoned. I just, I've done so much in my life, you know, good and bad. Better and good. I'm better. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but then you nah, get times but, like this where you can reflect and talk yeah, about Yeah, reflect and learn from your mistakes. That's another thing, yep. uh, boys and girls, is learn. learn from your mistakes. Don't don't try to trip up. I know we do trip up sometimes. And <coughs> these prisoners that I work with, they go, I don't understand when I'm in prison. I'm like, really? You committed? You, know, like, you knew what you like, did. You just, you've been here eight times. <laughs> yes, you do. And then they whine and cry. And it's like, just, you know, learn from your mistakes, you know? Learn from them. Amen to that. You know, just, That's what I'm saying. Just, uh, suck it. It. <laughs> yeah, suck, I mean, suck it up. If if something happens, fall down, brush it off, and be like, hey, life learned. I'm going to do better next time. Hell yeah. And if if you go to jail and you go to prison, hey, guess what? Um, you deserve it. You pay. You did the, you did the, you know, the time. You know, I mean. Crime. I mean, you did the crime. crime you did the, the time. time. Right? Exactly. Don't be a whiny little crybaby. If you <laughs> rob a store. And you get picked up. Well, you guess get, what? You, you deserve knocked, it. You deserve to go to jail. You know? Knocked out by the Brinks driver. That's <laughs> <funny>. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you get hit on the head with a. You know, I mean, I know we do some stupid stuff. I mean, trust me, I've done some really uh, crazy, crazy things out there, and I just own up to my mistakes. Like, yeah, I did it. Like, no, I don't hide behind. Mm-hmm. Some people say, no, I didn't do it. I'd be like, yeah, I did it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and and then you take the punishment and yeah, they pay the fine and the shit whatever it is, and you, yeah, like. But if you didn't do it, then you didn't do it. You know, I mean, I'm sure there's people out there that didn't do some. We have one guy that he did 25 years on life, and uh, he got paid, man. He got paid like $50 million. Holy or shit. Some, not that much, but close to that. It was, some, it was in the millions. Put my ass in jail. <laughs> it was a lot of years, though. I'll sit in there. I mean, yeah, he did most of his life in our prison, and he got out, and he got paid by the state. Mm-hmm. And but DNA caught up to his case. As you seeing that a lot now, you know their Fancy cases. The you know that one guy who got paid like sixty million just recently. Yep. He he did it since he was like sixteen. He was in prison from sixteen until he was like sixties or something. <laughs> I mean, he got paid, but you know and now his whole life is gone. Like, you know, it. like and he, a broke you miss out. On it a lot sucks. Of you know, he didn't get to live any life. All he yeah. knew was the prison life. Um, just, uh, people out there too, when you, when you get pulled over, just do the right thing. Don't give the police officer a hard time, man. Their job is hard enough. I know we, we try to stereotype this whole thing, what's going on in the world. And just, even when I get pulled over, you know, my hands go up, they go up right on the steering wheel. Um, I don't make any sudden movements. He doesn't know me. I don't know him. I don't want to jeopardize his life as much as mine. Do what he's asked. Mm -hmm. Don't give him a hard time. Don't. Don't try to make it a whole racial thing. Don't don't try to go, you know, because this, because that. You know, at the end of the day, who cares? Just give him what he needs and be on your way. Yeah, get the fuck because away at the from end, him. you know, because nine out of ten times, if you are respectful to that cop, you probably won't get a ticket if you're speeding. I've noticed that. Like I've this, uh, I've I've been three times. I've been out of a ticket just because I was given respect, and I mm-hmm. do carry a firearm off duty. And I advise him I have an off-duty weapon. And I don't do any sudden movements. I let him give me my commands. And uh, he thanks me every time. He said, hey, man, respectfully, you, mm. you, you help us out. And I said, absolutely. Especially in Vegas, probably. 
Yeah, any oh, yeah. just yeah. anywhere. Just if you get yeah, pulled over, right if you get pulled over, just uh, you know, don't make. If you ask for your driver's license, don't say why. Just do it. If you ask for your insurance, just do it. I feel like things go way it, easier. It, it's it, so much easier. Way easier. Don't make it. Don't make it like. Well, it's not your right uh, to ask me those questions. You're basically picking a fight. You're yeah, picking that, a fight. That's what you're doing. You're you're, you're trying to fight a battle, and you're not going to win. It, well, no. not, it, it, then, not not that day. <laughs> You, you're not going to win, and then things could get really, really bad for that person. And next thing you know, you're hooked up, and you're in the back of a squad car. Like, and it could have been to say, like, easy, like, here's my insurance. And if he's cool, with, you know, if you're cool with him, he might be like, let's say you forgot your insurance. One day I forgot my insurance. And uh, I explained to him I left it, you know, in my uh, in my other wallet or whatever. And he was like, okay, okay, cool. You know, can you prove any other way you have insurance? I said, I have it on my phone, and I pull it up, and I show it. Cool. He didn't need anything else. Nice. I was like, you know, I mean, things easy fix, you know? Mm-hmm. But if you struggle with people, man, I've noticed if you uh, disrespect somebody. Don't, that's man, that's man, with almost don't, any job. Don't be disrespectful. Just, you know, I don't even say be a, little ba- be a little bitch, but you don't have to be a bitch to other people. You know, if someone disrespects <laughs> you, you, don't you know, like, I, hey, well, sir, can you put your ice tea in the face? You get your fucking mask up while you eat your sandwich. But you know, you know what though? You know what though? At the end of the day, uh, like I work with prisoners all day, and uh, and my sergeant likes that I I don't uh, so disrespectful to some of these inmates. It's it's because their life is already hard. You know what? What's oh, yeah. me give them a hard time, and even the other people on the outside. Uh, I try not to disrespect anybody. It's because, uh, you know what? Even they disrespect me. I, you know, at the end of the day, who cares? Like, is it really going to hurt your ego because they're disrespecting you? Like, unless someone puts their hand on you, and then that's a different situation. Yeah. Then now you're going to jail. Yeah, you, got <laughs> you know, tears like, going on here. Yeah, like now you're going to that person's going to jail for putting their hands on you. But it, words can't hurt you. You're right. And they, they can hurt you with your feelings. But think about it, people. If someone's yelling at you or screaming just walk away who cares just walk away and if they put your hands on you now you have a case against a battery on them and uh you know defend yourself or whatever you need to do to get away but if they're just cussing at you just walk away from them easy fix mm-hmm. just walk away don't engage because once you start engaging guess what now you're in the wrong too now you're you're engaging that situation and it can get heavy and they're Everything goes case by case, and you might go to jail yourself over something so dumb, like putting your mask up. Or, you know, if somebody asks, put your mask up, you know, I know we get bent out of shape, and I can't say I have always, you know, not said, give me a break, you know, I have, but try to suck it up and go, okay, no problem. And, and, and try to listen a little bit and be like, no big deal, you know, and then take it down when he leaves. <laughs> <laughs> continue eating you know, your sandwich. Uh, you know, continue eating your sandwich and the sleep. Just wait sandwich. until he leaves that fucking yeah, bitch. Yeah, little bitch. But, fucking you know, I, I see a lot of violence in the world, and I think a lot of it we can just solve by just uh, doing the right thing ourselves on that matter. So, yep. You know, I try to teach, when I used to work with these juveniles, I used to try to teach uh, on how to... Uh, to moderate their own life, to monitor their own life with their with their dads and their moms, because mm-hmm. these juveniles would come in and you know they'd be so aggressive. And uh, I had one boy; he was so aggressive with his dad, and I had him for six weeks, and I didn't see one aggression in him. And his dad asked me why I don't see it. I said, "You know why? Because I don't disrespect your son. I treat him like a human being. I treat him like like he should be treated. And this is why I don't see the aggression is because if you." try to go above somebody they have to try to puff up their chest to man up basically try mm-hmm. to be their man inside their body so yeah i just told the, the dad was so mad at me because uh i told him he's a little bitch i said <laughs> i did i was in i was actually in a therapist uh room with him and his his uh, wife and uh, his dad goes well how many holes did he put in our wall today and your in your house i said none and he's like what and I said, yeah, I've had him for six weeks, and I haven't seen one hole. And then we've been he's been working out with me. He's been coming to my therapy groups. And there, he's like, oh, no, 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 no. That's not my son. I said, yeah, it is your son. Your son's a man. Just not the one you treated. Just that yeah. the one you yeah, you want to step on. Mm-hmm. And I said, really? You're the fucking problem. You're the, you're the bitch. You're, I'm sorry to say, you're the bitch, man. 
And then mom's like, yep, Johnny, you're, you're John, you're the bitch. Hey, John. Yeah, and then she threw a nice tea yeah, at him. Yeah. <laughs> Here you yeah. yeah. I mean, you fucking you moron. Know. Yeah, like, yeah. So it's like just lesson learned, you know, on certain things. When we go out in the world and we talk to people, just, just know there's a lot of uh, mental health out there, too. And they might be having shit that you don't know what's going on in their heads, like mm-hmm. when you're talking to them. Oh, yeah. So just remember that when someone's disrespecting you, Think, why are they disrespecting me? Did I do something that provoked it? Or are they having an issue with themselves? Yeah. Try to try to stay away and just to be like, yeah, whatever. And just, you know, get in your car and drive away. Don't just sit there and engage. Because once you engage, it can get really, and you don't want to lose your life over something, that might, some bubble gum. That, yeah, some, you know, and I'm saying like a candy bar or something. Because I've seen really stupid shit in Vegas people get, get up in your ass and it's like, oh, whatever. I just walk away and go, yeah. Be humble, yeah. be respectful, move yeah. forward. Yeah. That's the broken skip. I, I the didn't say, I, Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> and, that yeah. put it in my ass. And, <laughs> and I'm, not, I'm not saying go out there and kiss someone's ass. And I'm not saying that, you know, you don't have your opinion because you got opinion yourself. And if you have to defend your family, defend it. You know, if you, they're disrespecting, I've had uh, my son... Lisa, my ex-wife, again, be disres- uh, men being disrespectful towards her. And I uh, basically wanted to rip their skull off, you know. D- don't let them disrespect your wife. You know, that's a different story um, if they're being disrespectful to your family and you're protecting them. But if they're coming up and they're being just belligerent over, let's say you cut them off on accident. I've had a guy cut them <laughs> off, man. He Fucking basically crazy. ran me down and he wanted to fight. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. I, I didn't see you. I apologize. He's like. And he just he didn't know what to say because I used his ass. Yeah, he was, just like, he was like, "What? What?" And he's like, "You fuck a little bitch." I'm like, "Yeah, I probably am a little bitch." I'm like, "I didn't pay attention." I'm a little bitch. I uh, got a card and everything. Yeah, right here. Let me you know, it out for you, sir. <laughs> Yeah, got a little business card. Yeah, I'm, little a, bitch. I'm a little Rob Hatfield. Yeah, I'm a little bitch and a little finger <laughs> with some iced tea across your head. But yeah, it's uh, it's better that way if you just try to do some uh, de-escalation type stuff. But we have to do it with uh, yourself though first. You know, I'm yeah. not saying I haven't. Now, yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm not perfect. I've I've gotten people's asses and I've been disrespectful to some of oh, some people in my I life. I have. You know, but over the time of my life, of course, I'm getting too old to fight people. And I always just say, I'm not going to fight you. I'm just going to run you over. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to fight you. I'm just going to run you over. And then they're going to, like, you know, I'm just going to leave you in the dust, you know. But, again, just. <laughs> I used to tell him, like, yeah. hey, I'm really good at Taekwondo now. And he's like, yeah, let's see it stop my 9 millimeter. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> my son Nick, uh, you know, he's he's had a hard time with some of these uh, Chatham cops <laughs> and uh, Springfield PD uh, you guys. Some were no, they, there's some bad, there's some bad officers out there. I, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. He got pulled over um, one night. I, I was coming home from work uh, from Lincoln Prairie with these juveniles, and Nick was pulled over. And I was like, is that my son? No way. And there was like eight cops behind him. And I asked the cop, hey, what's going on? And the cop said he was being disrespectful. And um, I remember that. so I was like, well, what, what's going on? And he's like, well, he, one of our cop cars was trying to pass him, and he wouldn't let him pass. And I said, okay, well, I need more information. You know, I need to know what happened. I said, can I get his story? And he's like, absolutely. He's like, he's being really disrespectful towards us, too. And I said, well, how about this? If I can get him to apologize, uh, can we make this go away? And they had like nine tickets on them, nine and he was getting ready to go to the military. So and I was like, fuck. I'm like, shit. I'm like, okay, let me talk to him. So I'm like, <laughs> hey, knucklehead, you know, I knock on the door. What's going on? He's like, dad, I didn't do anything wrong. This cop was trying to pass me. I didn't know he, he was undercover. He didn't have no lights on. I did not know. I thought he was some nut job. So they had nine tickets on him, literally nine tickets. And I say, listen, son. I said, we got a bunch of knuckleheads behind me. I believe you 100% because I never disbelieve my kids unless I know they're lying and mm-hmm. I'm going to call them a liar. But I said, son, I, I had a little fucker. <laughs> yeah, he caught me smoking weed once. Yeah. He's like, so, wait, are you smoking weed in here? No. Fucker, yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I, I said, hey, these these cops, just, they want you to apologize. That's all they want. 
you know, Nick is pretty strong headed. He's like, well, fuck them. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to apologize as shit. I didn't <laughs> that do anything. Sounds exactly like yeah. <laughs> I ain't doing shit. <laughs> I, I'm mean doing shit. And I said, Nick, I said, what's going to happen is you're going to get these nine tickets. We might get them dropped. We might not get them dropped. But then we're gonna. I'm going to have to take off work to go with you because you're 17. I'm going to have to go with you and explain to the judge what happened because I seen it. And he's like, well, fuck, I want my day in court. And I'm like, fuck. I'm like, God damn it. So, so uh, of course, Nick, Nick's not going to back down. And I'm like, son of a bitch. And I'm like, so I go, I go back and talk to the officer. And the officer says, well, you're done now. Uh, we'll have to do what we got to do. I'm, we're going to write these night tickets and you'll be on your, you know, you can go and get lost. This cops, these cops were being like rude as fuck. Like, totally. Like, if I had a lawsuit, yeah, that would have been it. But then I got home. I looked at all his tickets and some stupid tickets. Like. River Mirror was it had like a tassel hanging from it. Oh please, you yeah. wrote me, yeah. wrote me a ticket oh, yeah. for oh, doing yeah. a, a 50, ten... fifty-five and a fifty-five. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Swear to God, yeah. I looked it, I looked it up, and, and the ticket actually didn't match to the speed limit. Like, did not like like I was like, wait a minute, this doesn't make any six. <laughs> oh, like, like it was like fifty-five, and he was like, he wrote thirty-five on the ticket. Like it didn't match to. Holy and I'm shit. thinking, wait a minute, if he was speeding, why is it? I couldn't, like, wrap my brain around this. So I told Nick, I said, listen, you know, down the road, we're going to get this dropped. We're going to get all these tickets dropped because I know the law really well. And we did. We went to court. We got them all dropped. And so he could go to the military because he can't go to the military with all these pending tickets. <laughs> Fuck he just no. can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Waver. So I, I told Waver Nick, I said, later in life, you're going to learn that it's easier just to be apologetic even though you're in the right 100 percent. because if he would have said hey listen dude i'm sorry i was a dick but da, 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 the cop would have been like okay you're on your way uh-huh we got him but really you got their goat because when you when you say you're sorry to someone even though you're you know they you know you're right mm -hmm. you got their ass really it really in, at the end of the day you got them you got them i mean nick at the time he was a strong headed 17 year old shit bag <laughs> still, still shit. Not a shit. <laughs> still a shit. You're not bag. wrong. Shit bag. But uh, yeah, we went to court. We got them all dropped, and uh, you know the cops didn't even show up in court. And, yeah. No, and even even didn't. even the judge that uh, the, or the uh, state attorney was like, yeah, the one cop that was giving them all the tickets is a shit bag. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's bad. Yeah. <laughs> but Chad, I mean, I don't. Think, these were Springfield cops. Chatham cops did the same shit to him, you know, harassed him through his high school. And I remember one time he, he got out of the Navy and he was in, looking dab in his uniform. And he went back to this high school that this one cop used to always harass him. You know how they always say, hey, thank you for your service. Yeah. And Nick goes, fuck off. I don't need your fucking thanks. <laughs> you know? like, like, don't fucking kiss my ass, you little fucking bitch. You know? Like you're, you're just a little fucking bitch, you know. Three, you know, cop in his high school oh now. And you kiss my fucking ass now. All the times you, you know. And I'm not shit again. I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not dissing on the police. I'm, and I have a lot of cop friends, and but there is a lot of a lot of them. I agree. There's a lot of them that uh, have a mentality of a three year old. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm just saying that they they do. They have an ego issue and. I think we hire cops that are too young, and yeah. uh, they just oh, get it. They're yeah, twenty. They're yeah. twenty. They're twenty-one years old. They just, yeah. They don't know their head. For not not at all. Ass. And they get out there and they get that badge. And I was one of them. I'm not kidding you. I was a dick. I was a dick. I used to write sixty, seventy tickets a night. I was one of those cops that when you see me, you'd be like, "Oh shit, I'm Fuck. fucked." <laughs> <laughs> that guy. Yeah, uh, he had the. Uh, uh, got to stop uh, right he got yeah, the yeah, I had the fucking tape measure. Uh, I was like. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, this fucking asshole. <laughs> uh, I had the most uh, car chases in Sangamon County. Uh, I had like, I think I had like three or four, and that's a lot back then. Mm -hmm. But uh, oh, mine were really legit though. I had really good ones. But if I had to, I'll do it over again. Uh, you know, be a cop again. Uh, I think I would be a different uh, outlook on people mm -hmm. on uh, how to uh, de-escalate things a little better because I was I always like to escalate things. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's and that's the thing is de-escalation these some of these officers don't know about the mental health thing and they need to learn how to talk you know 
That, yeah. Dude, don't don't talk down, talk direct. You know, talk with a good tone, talk with some sense. Don't act like, oh, I'm the bitch titch. I got a badge and you're fucked. Yeah, sounds yeah. like a New Jersey State that, Trooper. Just, you know, you know what it is. You know, another thing that pisses me off—they bust these people for DUIs and all this other bullshit. But then they'll go out and fucking drink and drive themselves. Like, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my buddy. What, what the fuck's my all about? My wife me? became a cop in Portsmouth, and then, uh, yeah, that 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 whole department was—that's what they do. Just go yeah. get housed and fucking yeah. drink and drive. It's like shit. really, you're gonna bust people for DUIs, but then you're gonna you're do, do the, same the exact thing. same thing. That's thing. like a hypocrite to me. Um, so I mean, you know, just give me a break. Like, just when if you're a police officer out there, just remember you're human too. You make mistakes. Be humble. I understand. We, we you got to deal with a lot of shit bags out there that give you a hard time. But just remember, uh, just be humble yourself too when you're walking up to them, talking to them with some sense. You know, now that their their heightened awareness is a little off, uh, they might be scared. They might be stupid with you. Just remember. Uh, just how you how you act too is a big thing. Oh yeah, uh, you know, yeah. How they act, you know, has a has it's a, a big, give and take. Yeah, it is a give and take, and they have to be a bigger person. Like, yeah, because people I, are gonna I, be just dudes. Yeah, they, they, they're gonna try demeanor, to, they're gonna, their demeanor is everything. It is. Yeah, they're gonna try to pull you off your professionalism. People like to do that. I know there's people out there that do like YouTube videos. Oh, try, try to, to throw the yeah, law yeah, in the yeah, yeah, try to, all the time. And that's that's you know what try to people, get you to break the, the YouTube people are doing that. You're scumbags. Now, truthfully, because. Man, these guys have a hard enough time, man. I mean, they have a hard enough time. There's a guy that films like he he films like buildings, like police buildings. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking You know what I'm saying? About. He's on those. Facebook a yes, lot. And I watch him and I'm like, man, this, Jesus, God, do you have better things to do than try to get a lawsuit <laughs> against? Right? right? It like, Jesus, God. Like, you're just making things worse in the world. We're trying to not to divide people. We're trying to pull them together so everybody works with each other. And this is not one of them. Yeah. So, yeah. Just remember, uh, police officer, just be professional. Don't come off that uh, professionalism. They'll try to pull you to, you know. Again, there's good and bad in every profession. Oh, yeah. Every profession. Yeah, matter. I know. They it, keep narrowing you know, it down to cops, but it's everywhere. No, no, it's, it's, all, it's, it's all, all everywhere. everywhere. The place. I, I have everything. Firemen, police officers, lawyers, uh, military. There's, yeah. Yeah. I know a bad lawyer. <laughs> Speaking of lawyers. I, I know I a got, bad one. And I got one shit bag next to me in the military. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> now. Two. Oh, I'm sorry. Two out, two shit bags. Two shit bags. <laughs> that's the only way to no. make it in the military. Oh yeah, yeah that's I'm putting but, khakis. Yeah, there's always a bad in uh, every profession, you know. And uh, there's no uh, another thing is stop jumping job to job. Stay with one job for the rest of your life. Until my son, listen, dude, you got two more tours and you're gonna be retired before you're 39 years old. I'm 51. I'm gonna be working until I'm 90. Because <laughs> I was one of those shitbag kids. Man, and I, gonna, thought, I don't. I wonder what Bumble's going to look like when you're 90. Hey, I know. I'm like, I'm like this. I got your ass. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> Franklin the turtle <laughs> over here. You're, gonna, you're probably see me on Bumble be like, yep, there's him. <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy from you're Hawaii. Run into the nurse again. <laughs> yeah, a smacker. Like, Linda, you Fucking Bimbo. Linda. Yeah. Bimbo. But that's what I did. I jumped job to job to job and thinking that the grass was always greener. Oh, man, I wanted to do that. Oh, I did that. That's why I had. Hindsight. That's why I can tell you so many stories because uh, a lot of I them fulfilled. St- yeah, they're all fulfilled, you know. But if I would have just stuck with one job, I would have been retired and been like sitting here going, ah, I don't have to work. work. You could be working another job and retired from that. Too. Oh, yeah. my God. I'm serious. I mean, I love my job now, but man. Being fifty one, it's it's rough sometimes. Young man's game. Oh, it is yeah. totally. You know, you, you get in tussle, not tussles, but you know, you you might have to tussle with some inmates and that are totally younger than you, and then I have to, you know, <laughs> have to step up my game pretty heavy. So yeah, sounds like you need to get on the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I don't know what the sauce means, but I I, I know what he means. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> A little, little, mm, mm, little of that Ronnie Coleman. Uh, <laughs> need some vitamin B12 right away. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, just stick with one job and oh, yeah. get done with your retirement and then enjoy your life. He needs there. to learn the art of T-Jitsu. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he's got to learn. <laughs> <laughs> one hand. Uh, he's got to learn from Master Sensei, Steven Seagal. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know who you're talking about. Me running over people's cars and Fucking trink or tanks and shit in Arizona. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, guys, we're we're at a point where we need to start wrapping. Oh, up. Yeah, for almost sure. two hours. Oh, yeah. We could talk all night. The longest one.
No, we'll we'll record again, hopefully one more time before you leave, so you get all them stories. Oh, yeah, squeeze every uh, bit out. Gotta, I'm, I'm a milk. Uh, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good. You go wrap us up. Your mom. Right. Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Had to say that at least one or oh, twice. Man. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a mic check. <laughs> That's all you say, mom. <laughs> Your mom. Where's, all, where's <laughs> the <laughs> off button on this? <laughs> which which one's he? Uh, you yeah, turn him off. <laughs> he, he's number one. <laughs> what is that? I think he's two. Is he two? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no. Uh, <laughs> is that him? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll probably try to get it, uh, uh, at least an ep- another episode out this week for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. So, the, First time on Twitch, though. Figure out some more of that stuff. There's a little freelance yes. that we did today for that. Stay but, safe. Yep. We're done. Like, follow, subscribe. Yeah. Later. Later. Peace. 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 Peace.